Hey Chad, how's it going? Shit, we got a tier 2 sub from Wingston. Thank you, Wingston. Appreciate that. Hope everyone is good. Wings is still here. Hello, Palas. Hello, Nami. Well, good night, Nami, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Jummy. Hello, Cork Crack and Crucible and Castodif and Chris. Go ahead, let us up. And Coffee. Oh, oh, 09. Thank you. And Raiders. Arcusmall. Look at that. Arcusmall is blasting, huh? How's the season? <laughs> I haven't seen Arcusmall in a while. Hope you're doing good. How's my key situation? Terrible. So let's go. Yeah. He went for a walk. Ah. Oh, okay. Well. Welcome, guys. We're just getting started today, so that's perfect timing. I am just like trying to gear up my monk tonight. I already have been working on it yesterday. I want to do a POJ and maybe a Raymond push. So that's what they're doing here. And a reason. Waiting for the stream for two hours. Yeah, I'm a bit late today. I'll probably do like another like kind of long D3 stream today and tomorrow. And then we'll decide. I guess sometime tomorrow I'll probably be done with the monk. And then we'll see if we make a third class. But it will be Tuesday. I mean, there's some time left. I also have some other plans with like making the four planners for season four and all that kind of stuff. That's a lot of work to be doing to be done. Maybe I'll do a bit of the free and then work on before meanwhile. I guess we go to visions meantime. Yo, Pirate King Zora. My pleasure, man. Hope you enjoy them. No. 10 sub kills, thank you, man. Holy shit. Chris, appreciate that. People clap. <laughs> yes, people clap. Boo. <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Got a lot of subs also yesterday. Some big, big gifters here. Thanks, Chris. Have you been playing the season as well yourself, or what are you up to? If I want to do a fun tier list for the season, what would be top build? <laughs> top build and fun. I guess that's generally like Uedi Mananta for me, to be honest. It's like my overall favorite. But I mean, there's a lot of fun builds, really. Like, the 3 doesn't really like fun builds, I'd say. There's also like clunky builds and miserable builds, but a lot of them are fun. I miss PTR so much. Yeah, it's the post PDR blues, but it if it helps a little bit to uh, get through it, I'd say. I 
wasn't spawning anything here. You could actually give him sages as well as well as if I wanted. Do I care about DDBs right now? Also DBs. Uh, maybe actually. More DBs. I mean, yes. As a rock. Yeah. Ah, wait, we don't have the Gloss of Worship. I guess it doesn't matter for the 16. Can Necros compare to Inno at all? For key farm? Nah, no way. <laughs> Nothing compares to this, really. I mean, if anything, another monk build, or maybe something like Multishot or God the Age. But even those are kind of like second class builds compared to this. I mean, perma, instant, dash, everywhere, all the time, it's, it's kind of crazy. Barb can zoom for 216. Yeah, I mean, it can make some, you know, 400% movement speed, whirlwind or something like that. But it also, you know, it's not really the same. It will zoom, of course, but I guess the main advantage is that you always have like, this downtime after 30 seconds or regaming. And this means that by default, like every build has kind of like some built in inefficiency that equalizes them a bit. I'm playing inner builds. I can pin it again, I guess. We'll do that in a sec. Which is bugged out again. Why does it never let me pin stuff? I always have to make like a new browser tab and then it works for some reason. Okay. They see me, sir, then... Hey, Wingson. I'm not sure if you were here earlier, but thank you for the sub as well earlier. But pushing Echo, is it worth making a monk for keys? Uh, I mean, if you really just need keys and no gear anymore, then yeah, I guess. It's not hard to set it up. You know, if you have a few materials to boost yourself to 70, you can get your monk running in like 15 minutes or something if you want. And, uh, well, you can easily catch up basically if like you know if you have to actually farm like uh, your few hundred keys uh, let's say you farm 500 keys or 1000 keys then the monk will easily save you an hour or two or three on the way there compared to the necro yo quip the pet picks up to the b yeah hey john Nelson. oh i didn't see the answers Winston. sorry They create the opposite effect, just made me want to play D4 even more. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, these days I'm not really ready to blast like Diablo 3 seasons for like, you know, hundreds of hours or so anymore. You know, it's kind of fun, but it's also like, you know, so different from like the stuff I enjoy these days with like D4 is just like way closer to what I want. A few days is fine, you know, 100 hours maybe in a season. 
But yeah, compared to what I used to do in like, you know, other seasons, like 500 hours, 600 hours, 400 hours, like, nah. I'm kind of over that, I think. And even if I wanted, you know, unless I go really ham on like, you know, pushing a certain build for like, you know, really crazy amounts and time attacking or whatever, doing like a 1000 key push. Yeah, sure, you can still do that, but also if like all extreme, like, you know, the the pushing has just become like, you know, much smaller in general, I feel. Yeah, you get an all extreme, you get a few of them, you know, get one that is like a really good run, a county somewhere, a good boss, and you, know, you kind of get pretty close to a really, really good scenario already, basically, that was like a push. One month until season four, aware. <laughs> yep, one month, man. But well, that month will pass pretty fast, at least for me, I think. We're gonna do this now, and then we're gonna start working on the actual builds. I'm gonna make like, a bunch of videos. I'm planning to release like uh, one video every day right now for like the remaining season four stuff, like you know all the builds I've tried and a bunch of other things. And then we're always gonna start working on the actual build guides. Have a bit of torchlight this weekend. Maybe no rest of the wicket. Okay, I seem to keep that thing. He had nightmares because of the season girl. Yeah, I mean... The presentation was... Uh, it's really bad, I feel. But, um, I don't know, the features and stuff to actually implement seems kind of cool stuff, so... I'm gonna play it. Like, you know, I can understand that people that have no idea and have not played it before, they're probably not really turned on. But, um... I mean, I've played the game before, you know, every season and stuff, so a little bit, I know it. Thank you, summary of the torch elements. So the boundary variation of T3, uh, Maxwell, yeah, I think so. Bounty or T16, I didn't actually check the guide to be honest, but um, it should be pretty close to that at least. I don't think I could find this fine, you don't even see the monsters. You were brilliant, they're dead already. Yeah. <laughs> it's kinda crazy how this works these days, that's true. And to be honest, you know, T16 farming is not exactly interesting. Speed Grave is usually where it's at, yeah, we're just getting the keys and kind of chilling. Like the farm part of the game is something else for me for sure. That's okay. To be honest, compared to farming keys on Necro, there's a ton better. Because <laughs> it can actually move. I think Blizzard is trying to avoid that in D4 with builds getting out of hand. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty obvious. I think that they, you know, on purpose tuned things down from the other three, and I mean, they had to. And like, yeah, a lot of people still like the other three for what it is and all that. 
but you can't just make a fresh game and t produce something similar to the Diablo 3 again. <laughs> like all the same shit. So it's just like... It's too much. And the thing is that they are actually like dangerously power keeping the game way faster than they did in the Diablo 3 as well, which is mildly worrying. On the other hand, they also have like, you know... Uh, way more nerfs, I guess, in Diablo 4 as well. So in Diablo 3, you know, there were like, not really ever like enough nerfs. But in Diablo 4, they're not really shy with nerfs, so that also makes me hopeful. Like, especially if Joe Papiora at the wheel. He likes nerfing shit. So... If bosses then have 200 gazillion HP, I don't want it. And I don't want it if I don't do at least 300 gazillion damage to one-shot these bosses. Right? All tempers minus 50%. Yeah, honestly, I think this is not uh, even a bad way to do it. Like, they don't, like if they can't just change tempers now to, like, you know, change how the area calculations work or the area tempers or whatever, just giving initially every tempo minus 50% is actually not even the worst move. And some of these values are just way too much. Oh shit, that's a good chest. Okay, double secondary too. And those of the altar, what to do and what not to do, very confusing. Uh, don't worry, Sam, like you're gonna unlock the entire altar by the time you're done. It's not that hard to do that. You just need to make sure you save up one challenge with cash that you can sacrifice at step 15. You have to find the stuff of herding, which is like a special thing on like certain like um, dungeon drops and stuff. You have to put that together. And the rest is just kind of like general, like, okay, you have to like sacrifice some blood shards, some souls, some whatever. <laughs> hey, slow down, do you know how much gold you're leaving behind? Yeah, very important, man. All the gold, wow. At least in this game, there's not a 10 billion gold cap. That would be kind of sad. I forgot all about the altar when you were done leveling. Whoopsie. Dude, I've not spawned a single vision in this entire game. What is going on? Upgraded Grand Rifts. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to though. There's like not really much to do with that right now. Okay, I can get a few extra augments a bit faster. So I might actually do that, and then just like not augment whispers of atonement, but something else, maybe. I mean, if I extend my stay in the Apple Three for another day, I guess. Then yeah, I could just augment my POJ, my Raymond, and maybe even my LD push. And we could do like a. Okay, the question is, what do we do an LD Nova push, like a real one, or do we do the meme black phone push? So this will be like a few more things that I have on the menu. 
Maybe some time attacking on Bone Spear as well. Get some really nice run in. And I bugged up the goblin. Oopsie. LOD Corpse Lance, oh boy. LOD Corpse Lance is such an old build that you never even had a maximal guard for it. You never even had one. Yeah, I've seen that Frosted Oak video, it's pretty good. You focus on the altar. Uh, I mean, generally the altar is like somewhat minor, besides like a few key things. So I wouldn't like overly focus on it. Just you know, if you're still like stuck in Torment Seven or something, you know, rather make sure that you get some gear upgrades on the visions. Try to get to Torment Sixteen so you can farm efficiently, and then you know you can get the altar stuff done. So it's not like the number one priority, I'd say. My toughness, uh, very low on this build. Oh, hey, first one, hello. <laughs> and give us on a server slam. Aha. Uh -huh. I really like the, um, the barbarian build that you showed off in the video. Of all the basics, that was, look, that was good. Yeah, Timis. DCP, the three seasons also have a story quest lines. Nah, there's no story or anything attached to these seasons, yeah. It's not like a D4. <laughs> it's just like, boom, play the game, have fun. That's what default will be eventually. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, by the time Diablo 5 is out, maybe, yeah, but... You know, for uh, probably the next half decade or so, I think there's gonna be uh, a lot of stuff. Same thing with the boys. Yeah, I'm like sort of self found but... I guess I bring my own boys. Hello, Jagger. Looking for primal chest? Nope. But we are still missing a good POJ chest. We don't have any there. I don't need helms as well, sorry, because I'm going on Guardian's helms. Because on both builds, POJ and Raymond, we're going to run Guardian belt and Guardian helm. And then have the bracer equipped for the spirit guards or the Caesar's memento. So we don't need a helm, we don't need a belt, we need a chest, we need a glove, we need pants, pants are easy. Boots have the Kadala bug, so I'll try to avoid gambling those and hopefully just find it, reforge a bit. My rings for POG are fine. Uh, let me see. For... Raymond, I need Travelers. I don't have a Travelers. I do have an okay Compass Rose though, I think. And the Unity is easy. In this case, we have this. Uh, Katalabak is uh, double Legendaries, doesn't apply to Boots and to Rings. Hi, Corgan. Surprise the salvage bovine instead of using it. Well, I guess you can open the bovine for a vision. I 
Best build for fresh necro huh? 70. You want to work towards either Bone Spear or Nova. So you usually play LOD with whatever you find until you get this. One good thing to get you started is you make another one necro and gamble the corpse explosion gloves. It's kind of like a nice multiplier you can get for very easy. Auto Lancer. Yeah, some people really like Auto Lancer. I also like to build, but I don't like the clunkiness part of it. It's a bit annoying also to deal with. Auto Lancer is okay, yeah, for like low GRs and T16 and stuff. You can do it if you like to build. But I just went with Bone Spear all the way. It was like a full bone spear season here for me. How far of the monk GR wise? I managed to clear a GR90 in one minute. Oh, oh. Rifts are fine, Sam, but I would only really run Rifts once you are kind of set up, and you can do T16 at least. Visions are pretty good early on to get just gear, there's a lot of gear there, so you can easily get your 6-piece set and get the other stuff, and then go towards T16. Will I be playing a nowhere sort of wicket? I am planning to, but I have no idea like, you know, how much or how much I will like it. I didn't get to play it before. But yeah, I'll try it out when it comes out, and we'll see. I don't really have any other plans for that week until 25th of April, when I will be away for a few days with Nini. Altar is, um, I can't wait. Well, it's separate between the different modes, but it's shared between your characters. Dude, I've not gotten a single vision since I'm here. <laughs> what? Trying to spawn one between the rifts. I've probably killed like over a thousand monsters. Twenty sixteen rifts for mats or visions. Can rift spawn visions? No, there's no visions in the rifts. It's only outside. So rifts are good for keys. Death breath. And uh, I guess also like gems and stuff. And the visions are good for just like gearing up and bounty mats. Get a bit of keys, get a bit of gems, but not very much. Okay, I'm just like piling up keys here right now. Alini? I did not actually. How are you? Let's pick some vocal amulets. Ancient puzzle. Holy squirts. Damn it. Oh, 
Holy, huh? What am I going to do with that? This would be good for like a Crusader. <laughs> I think I'm going to run these. I have like three or four ancient puzzles now. I guess I should be fine. I don't need the normal puzzles anymore. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this Sumbuku. I don't think so. There's a rice pudding there. That's fine. If ARS made the game UI more colorful. The UI? I don't think they changed the UI really in the expansion, did they? D3? I have no idea actually. That was different. I don't think so. This is how it still exists, yeah. You can find it randomly. Or you can uh, also like open it if you want. Sushi in two hours. Like one hour fifteen, sorry, enjoy. I have your PoE question. Okay, what is that Louise? So like we go, I have a level 60 Arc Templar. I mean, you can respec. I mean, if you have a bit of currency, okay, level 60, you probably don't have very much because you're just like at the end of the campaign, basically. Not even. So you probably don't really have a lot of currency to respec, but you can at least do some mild respecing just on the quest points that you get. And yeah, I mean, you can try to find like a Templar build and, and follow along. Maybe something that's like somewhat close to what you're already playing. Like if you're playing Arc, maybe you find some other like lightning build or some caster build at least. And then go with that. And okay, finally got one. of blues. Mobile chatting is too scuffed. Where are you now, Nini? Nini is on and about, as always. She's coming with food. So lucky. Let's go. Guys, I think it's a lucky time. The game doesn't tell me what to do at all in the three. That's true. I mean, they added like a lot of stuff over time, but there's like not really much explanation about it in the game. But luckily, we have a lot of guides on Maxwell, and most of them are not very long either. 
Like there's an altar guide and all that as well you can check out, for example. Each of our build guides has a little altar section that tells you which order you should take the things in and stuff. I'm not back in Greece. But there is a one Zuvlaki dealer in this city. Actually two that I know. Well, three if you count Nini. So I have my connections, guys. Speed bump mode is not stream friendly. Become, become, become motion sick. Oh no! <laughs> but I can imagine, like, if you're actually watching it versus, you know, I'm controlling the character. It's like you know, I know what's happening. But if you're just like looking at it, I guess it's a bit, yeah, crazy. I'm kind of surprised it never left dashing strike, honestly. After all this crazy like cooldown stuff and like just you know Raymond stuff, they even reworked Raymond to make it easier to perma dash like this. That's the funny part, right? They reduce the cost of the, the spirit, uh, the spirit cost by like seventy five percent or something, or from seventy five to twenty five or something like that. I think it was like way cheaper at some point, not long ago. I'm playing in a monk. Yeah, same. I mean, these days you're probably not gonna find like a lot of videos that are aimed at beginners in the Diablo three, right? So it's not really a lot of new players coming to the game. So if I make like any guide, I didn't actually make guides for the season really. I only made a tier list video, and that was it, because I was so busy with the four PTR. Maybe next time I'm gonna make like some more stuff, like you know, meta builds and at least a few and some other general stuff. Like I didn't even do a leveling guide this time. But um you know, there's obviously not really many new players these days. And also with D4 becoming better, there's like less people that are like, you know, leaving D4 disappointedly, trying out Diablo 3 just because. Like we actually had some people like these. But they are also more gonna stick to the four now, I guess. die more to things that you've already killed and things that are still alive. I mean, there's not really many on-death effects though in Diablo 4. They're like really minimal. There's like these like plagued minions sometimes and I guess explosive elites. Is there anything else really? I guess it's more like you just don't die in general in Diablo 4 because Diablo 4 is like really undertuned when it comes to monster power. At least after the season two rebalance. When will the class ranking in TS be updated for Maxwell for the four season four? Probably in like three weeks or something. I mean, patch notes traditionally come like, I don't know, four or five days before the season starts. So, yeah, I guess like around, yeah, actually more like four weeks, no, like around two, three days before season start, I guess you'll get the rankings. 
Unless they bring them very early this time. I mean, they did the PDR and all that, and maybe they're gonna bring us the final patch notes earlier than usual. But right now, I mean, there's no ranking. Like, what do you wanna see exactly? I can make like a little overview of what it was like on the PTR, but I mean, that's massively changing, I think, so. Death effects are basically one shots. Well, if you play like a very squishy character, then yeah, maybe. Yeah. I guess it's like, you know, one of the common mistakes that people make that they're just like, you know, Diablo 4 is easy, so they just like don't invest in the defense at all, and then they just die to like random bullshit. And they get frustrated. Because people are too much in this, like, you know, just like. Omega Blast Speed Farm Mantra, maybe. Again, like especially in Season 4, you definitely want to start making your characters very tanky. Like, defense is everything. You're gonna grab it everywhere you can. Like, your Paragon boards, they're gonna be fully focused on, you know, defense, life, whatever. And all that in the future. It's not like now where you can just YOLO your game, your, your way through the game. And just like, one-shot everything before it can ever hurt you. But yeah, I you know there's like people that are playing like even like T100 Nightmare Dungeons with not even kept resistances and kept armor and all that. And well, I mean, what do you expect? If you walk into a uh, explosive elite and yeah, wait like three seconds and then go boom, then well, that's it, I guess, when you don't have any defense on the height here. Hope we don't see people speed farming pit 200 after the first week. Well, on current PTR balance, it would be roughly after the first day. But, yeah. I expect, first of all, some pretty big nerfs. And second of all, I also expect they're gonna like tune up the pit a lot. Like, there's no reason for us to be able to reach pit 200. You know, there's nothing you gain there. There's like no special reward or anything. And there's no point in doing the pit that high anyway. So they can just literally make it like unreachable, like in Diablo 3 graduates were in the beginning, in the highest tiers. And there's no harm in that. And it can actually give people something to chew on, you know? So I would expect that they're gonna like, you know, times 1000 the difficulty of pit 200 and, you know, like, pit 100 could be like a nice goal, you know, like this is where the monsters still scale, this is where defense still matters. And then after pit 100, like, the, you know, the defense, or like the defensive requirements don't go up anymore, really. The monster damage doesn't go up anymore, the monster level doesn't go up anymore. And then you just like scale the HP. And, uh, you know, then some builds will just cap out at, I don't know, 110. 120, 130, and if that is like the cap that people can reach, then that would be perfect, I think. And I guess you can also still introduce a bit of power keep in future seasons, if you want to. 
to make it impossible people to complain. But what 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 exactly are people complaining about? Like what what will they complain for? Like I c I don't understand. Like what what would it be? What what will they say? Hey, I can't reach pit two hundred. Like the question is so what? <laughs> like what's the point? Like why do you want to reach pit two hundred? Like, there's no reason to find the pit 200, even 100, you know. The maximum difficulty you have to complete in the game in order to get anything that you can is a pit 41. Yo, Argus Mal. Welcome back. Thanks for right there, yeah. I'm doing good. How about you? How's the season so far? I mean, you don't even have to make an achievement for it, you know? You can say, okay, maybe like Pit 100 is the achievement. That's like kind of like the baseline of like good builds or something. Pit 100, you know, as I mentioned, like, okay, this is where Rewards still scale up a lot and monsters scale up and all that. And then it's say, okay, like, you know, the pit 100 to 200 is just like, you know, just for the funsies push mode, kind of. And there you go. Like, if you try hard enough, like, almost anyone can beat a t pit 100. Well, not everyone, but most builds, at least. So we say, okay, this is kind of like, you know, the minimum baseline that a build should reach. And then you would just, you know, make like pit scale, I don't know, plus 10% HP per level from there. So that, you know, the maximum that people can do, like, it's like, kind of, I don't know, 140, 150, 130, whatever. It's like a good build. I think that, you know, you don't have to make an achievement for pit 200. It doesn't need to be a reward. It just needs to be something that will wreck you. Surely they will implement all that feedback, Copium. Yeah. Why is Double Immortal better than both D3 and D4? Well, that's because of the plus 800% value that he gets after completing the first zone. You're basically earning money at that point. Season 4 plan, first Incinerate Zork, second no Dust Devils, World Buff, third Lightning Storm, do it again. Interesting combo. This is not Zork. In the Apple 3, they decided to give ridiculously all-powered permanent teleport to Monk instead. And made the Wizards teleport the worst mobility skill in the game. I imagine they would actually add like some pit ladder in the game. Like the thing is that compared to Apple 3, where a uh, build's performance is directly tied to like your farming efficiency and all that stuff, in like you know the most incredible way basically for experience farm and paragons. 
that's not really the case in Diablo 4. Like in Diablo 4, like, you know, getting to 100 and farming your gear and, you know, basically doing everything in the game, it's like somewhat comparable between builds, even the good and the bad builds. You know, in Diablo 3, if you play a good build, you're going to farm experience like five times faster than someone on a bad build. Or more. Ten times faster, whatever. Farming gear made faster, everything. But that doesn't happen in Diablo 4. In Diablo 4, the gap is way smaller between good and bad builds. Even if the damage output is a huge gap as well, you know? There are builds that do like, you know, ten times the amount of damage or twenty times the amount of damage than other builds. But the efficiency gap is not nearly as large, you know? The efficiency gap is maybe like times two or whatever. So the game balance doesn't matter as much in Diablo 4, and the pit, you know, having like infinite difficulty wouldn't really matter either. Like it would be totally fine if some builds just can only do like a pit 100 and others can do pit 140. Because there's nothing to be earned. There's no Paragon levels that, you know, hyperscale your character's power or anything. Yeah, you get a few more materials, but you're not really running on a lot of these materials anyway, no matter what, in, in, the, in the pit, so... Like, the bottleneck will be not the master working pit mats, it will be, like, the way the crystals and all that stuff. That's really where, what is going to hold you back from just, like, master working your stuff anyway, I think. So it's not even that you're going to lose out on anything. Yo, Linux. Check out every spend spark from green and the codex. Maxing it. I mean, maxing every single power in codex. I think it could just be an achievement. Every spend spark, like actually attaching like a thing to that. So it's, I mean, you have to actually play all five classes or that, right? You can't max the codex just on one class. Unless you trade for all the items. I think it would be kind of weird. Hey, Fenrir. Should try the chicken witch doctor again. Nah, I don't like it too much. If you want to see chicken witch doctor, you can watch Anna. <laughs> Smuggle, thanks for playing by the way, appreciate that. How's the keys? 124. How will the fall respond to PoE 2? I don't think I really have to respond very much. You know, by the time PoE 2 comes out, we're looking at, I don't know, Season 8 or something. You know, we're like halfway through the first expansion. The second expansion is probably even announced, or at least the announcement is on the horizon. Like, there's not really too much to worry about there, I think, for Blizzard. No pattern. Getriebe des Schreckens. Yes, I played that build.
Do you think they're going to release an expansion every year? Nah, no chance. I think this annually should not be taken very uh, literally. You know, that's what I kept saying in WoW. And in WoW, I don't know. Did they ever come close to one year? I don't think so. I think the closest they probably ever had was like one and a half years, maybe. I'm not sure if someone has like a time table between every single WoW expansion. So I don't believe them for a second that they're actually releasing an expansion every year. But you know, if it's like close enough to a year, like, you know, one and a half or so. Yeah. That could happen, I think. Like every six seasons or so. Maybe they're like trying to aim for like every five to seven seasons or something like that. You know, four seasons is one year. Six seasons is one and a half years. So yeah, why not? Yeah, wow, most of the time it's more like two years instead of one year. I mean, honestly, I think one year expansion for WoW would be way too fast anyway. What's my pet not picking up anything? What am I paying this guy for? But anyway, like even if they don't stick to annual expansions, you know, we're gonna get the expansion, I suppose, in November, maybe December this year. And then PoE 2 is gonna come out, I expect, somewhere between March and June next year. So it's like, you know, somewhere in like 12 to 14 months or something. 11 to 14, maybe. And at that point, you know, we're already like two seasons deep in the Diablo expansion. And uh, at the very minimum in June or something, you know, they could already announce the next expansion, which will be around the PoE 2 release. And if they're not doing it there, then okay, they're going to do it like half a year later at BlizzCon, I guess. So that could happen as well. So it's BlizzCon 25, we're going to see like the second expansion announcement. That could happen. What's our plan for next month? Well, a few more days of the free. This weekend we play Torchlight and then No Rest of the Wicked. If No Rest of the Wicked looks good, we're gonna stick to that for a little bit. Otherwise, I'm first gonna be chilling, just making the four planners. And then I have a little vacation on 25th of April until end of April. And then we're basically in season four mode already when I come back anyway, so. Two weeks in advance. When Ori, yes, that's coming this week actually. I wanted to do it before the D3 start, but I didn't have the time for it. But yeah, this would be a good thing to do now this week actually. I was thinking about it like uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Tomorrow we're gonna have a little sponsored stream, so I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. But then maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. Where's the bottle? So we'll see how the monk will go and like my plans here in the three. What's the sponsor? Uh, it's a game called Wanted Dead. Seems pretty cool. Seems very brutal as well. Has anyone played it? Came out last year, I think. It's a bit of an underdog game from what I can tell.
Tomorrow is Champions League. Oh no. <laughs> when all class push. I'm not going to do all class push, guys. I mean, to be honest with like how fast you can get up classes these days, I guess if you invest like, I don't know, 20 hours per class and like sub 200 hours, you could actually easily be, get, be done with the, get done with this if you only go for like the one or two meta builds. But yeah, I don't, I want to do all classes, so. We hope to kill Diablo in D4 by 2026. That's very optimistic, as what? In our chest. But we already have. I mean, this doesn't have armor, actually. Plus 2.5 thousands. That's actually not very much. Football fanatic. Personally, I, I don't really want up to football watching it. I mean, I've watched like, I don't know, World Championship here and there or something when I was younger, but that was probably the most I've really watched. Was because it was like some social event. Loot and get on. <laughs> That's a good way to describe this. <laughs> and as the chance to reset. Uh, Monday evening for NA and Tuesday morning for EU. How do I always have the dash skill? I'm quick on my fingers. And also Raymond for set. Uh, visions are really bad for champions pattern. Like it has no goblins, you don't get any gems there actually. So you only have to pray for the Goblin Packs, which are pretty good if you find them, but it's rare. So usually just farm Rifts and hope for Ancient Puzzle Rings. Or just normal Puzzle Rings, you can also drop some gems. Or you do Petrified Screams, and you actually farm the, the Goblin Shrine in the Petrified Screams, if you can. That's pretty good too, actually, because it's like nearly guaranteed that you get a Goblin Shrine between wave 125 and 150. Which is not too hard to do if you save the shrines for a little bit longer. Goblin King should be endgame boss in the four spawns after killing 1,000 goblins. Well, who here has killed 1,000 goblins, though?
I guess we have these boots here that are somewhat usable. And we have those that are good. So I actually don't worry about boots very much currently. This is fine. I'm missing the pants here. I guess we should go for gloves a little bit. We have these here for justice. Maybe we're gonna get on gloves a bit for now. Maybe it doesn't look that bad. My gear. From Germany. Doing the card of a farm enigma or waiting for season four. Ah, why not actually? Just need to keep your character around, I guess, because I think it's bound to character, right? So if it comes in a future season, you want to keep that eternal character ready. Followers, Sage, Kane, Broken Crown, Nemesis, Flavor. Pretty standard stuff here. Fastest class to build a season 43. Ah, uh, Demon Hunter. You get Arnold Essence sets, which is a nice head start. One Vision prevents some lack of casting mages, correct. I'm going to what's the purpose of using Horn Visions on Necro LD Mage Rat build. 
Alright, so you have to promise on Akron for the double essence. I mean, it's not a hard requirement. You can also just like play a lot of cooldown reduction and then use some Akron that way. It's not like a Nova build where the build doesn't function without the Simulacrums. Or the Bone Spear build, for example. But yeah, Horn of Vision just typically it turns out to be a better choice, basically because it makes it smooth, consistent. You have always your Simulacrum out for the double damage. Like, you actually get more than double damage. You get the Relina Multiplier, which goes from 330. Essence to 660 when you have to Sonar come out. So you go the damage goes from 165 bonus to 330 bonus. So that's a 62% damage increase just from Marlinas. While the Sonarcom is active. And then your singularity mages can also spend double the amount of resources, so that's nearly double the amount of damage. So you have like uh, almost a 3.2 multiplier there by having the Sonacum active. And even if you like carry over mages for a while, let's say optimistically, until the next Sonacum is ready, if you play the cooldown version without the amulet, then you'll still lose the 65 or 62% damage bonus from Alina in between at least. That you will not have like at least half the time. Stop it again. You've never seen the Apple 3, but you see why people want D4 to be like this. Uh, some people want it, I, don't, I certainly don't. <laughs> I like D3, but I definitely don't want D4 to look like this. That moment when Monday means late to season. And it's actually true. <laughs> Season's already over for most people, I guess. Who's still blasting there? With big plans. I'm not farming 90s right now, this is T16. But we'll go back to 90s later to um, get some more petrified screens, maybe some gear. We have 156 keys right now, which is not bad. I'm gonna do this for a little bit longer, maybe to the 300 keys. Spend like, I don't know, maybe 100 or so on speed farming. Maybe less. Then we should be kind of ready with our monkey, I think. Hey, Dredd. How are you doing? I'm using Unity and being a part of Grand right now. Another day in guide writing. They're already working on all of the uh, resource updates. 
to get it out of the way. I told Riff about it though, and uh, hopefully he can make them soon. So Riff has been working a lot on the default plan updates, and that actually looks like in a good shape so far. I also may just spawn a portal. I usually go to Festering Woods or Weeping Hollow for that. Oh, big roll on chess. <laughs> Almost perfect, actually. I can roll this out of secondary. Uh, I'm mildly tempted to push roll on. It's actually pretty close to Akan this season, turns out. I'll save this one now. Who knows? Maybe I'll make it for a character. That would probably be a Crusader. You cannot get soul shots. I can't push the worst that I ever done. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the I can't build very much to be honest. Kinda sad that I reworked a set man. I enjoyed the uh I can't bombardment build back in the day. This was a big miss, I think. I mean, okay, they made some kind of unique new playstyle, but I don't think a lot of people really like it. Kind of same with Natalia. I was always hoping for like a spike trap build. And I kind of like Natalia, but there's not many like me out there. It's very hard, very complicated. Like it was a bit like, you know, it's a spike trap build, yeah, but it's probably a bit too far, you know. I wish they would have just like taken back Natalia back to the roots, Reign of, Reign of Vengeance. Make it like a proper Reign of Vengeance build. Buff the shit out of Crashing Rain. That would have been fine too. I was always hoping they would replace the shitty LOD Rapid Fire with like a Spike Trap build at some point. More goblins. I'm getting a lot of goblins today, though. It's kind of nice. Mats. Anyone? It's possible to get 50 of the current builds. All champs are only for Necromancer. 
all all builds can like all, all classes can do 150. Like even non season, I guess, after a certain paragon level. I mean non season is extremely hard, but on season, at the very minimum, you have the altar of rights, and the altar of rights, depending on build, buffs you probably between like three to six tiers or so already. And then comes another season theme on top of that. And yeah, even without like the cube theme at all, basically, like if you just play a non seasonal build, but in season with the altar, all classes will be able to do like 150 at the very latest, but like 4k paragon or so, I'd say. That will not happen. That depends on who's playing those classes. Need some blasters for that. But yeah, it's possible. But yeah, this early in the season. We're not going to see much besides Necros for probably the next week or so. And then probably some other people will start trying 150s on other classes. Like Monk is probably one of those next in line. And Wizards. So there's POJ. It's pretty good. Uh, there's like LD, Bazooka. There's uh, Veer. There's uh, some other stuff. Twister, I think. I think LD Twister is actually pretty good these days. With the extra Death Wish. So that gets a pretty huge buff in the season theme. Yeah, Demand is going to be pretty weak because the entire build, the meta build on Demand, doesn't actually change at all with the season theme. So it's literally just non season build. Basically. So we have a default style turnaround. Yes. It's called non season here. What the what class will reach out of fifty after Necro? Yeah, I think technically a wizard is the next in line in terms of raw power, but I don't think a lot of people are playing wizard currently. But yeah, there's maybe like some, some wizards. I got a shoulder, and that is actually fine. I don't think I'll need to resource a cooldown really, right? You want to defense as much as possible. Yeah, no, Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor won't be uh, next in line. Witch Doctor will be one of the last, I think, to do 150. I mean, Witch Doctor generally doesn't really have like, a player base, first of all. And Witch Doctor also, I think, doesn't even have an A tier build. Like, they're starting at B this season. So they're kind of like one of the weaker ones. You determine to get unhallowed to 150. Oof, good luck. I mean, if you stick to the season for like a few hundred hours, maybe you can, if you ascend to God Gamer. Imagine the storage and non-season realm is crammed. Uh, it is, but there's also a lot more space in the Diablo 3 than there is in the Diablo 4. Like, you can easily store, like, you know, 10, 15 bills in your stash or something, plus a few mules that are, like, taken out or whatever. And, um, yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff there that I keep around in case I ever have to go back and do some testing or some, you know, recording or so, but I basically never really do that anyway, so I think I spent way too much time on 
sorting out final season stash for not too much benefit. But I mean, these days there's no PDRs anymore. So if I ever have to do some kind of testing, then I would have to use my non-season characters for that, I guess. But I mean, that's very unlikely, I guess. The free is too figured out and too dead for me to do that. So I still have the character sitting there. But I don't actually add anything else to my non-season anymore. Because I've been playing like only hardcore basically for like the last few years anyway, and the hardcore stuff I don't care about. I have like my non-season softcore stuff where I keep some stuff around and that's it. How strong is Monk's PLJ this season? That's uh, one of the better builds. I think I have it in A tier. Like I'm planning to do like 140, 142 or something like that with POJ. When I'm like 50 on guns. We'll see how good exactly it is. I think they introduce something similar to the armory in D3, to D4. Yeah, I expect in four months. And if not then, then at the very latest in seven months. Also, new cameras and well feature. Have you noticed that? With more GPU usage. I would be surprised if the camera zoom out actually has a noticeable impact on GPU usage. Because technically, all the stuff that you previously didn't see right off screen should still be like there and rendered for the most part. No. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Maybe a slide. But either way, I've not noticed any change in the GPU. If anything, you notice it when the bulb appears on your screen, then you're in trouble. That's uh, Diablo 3 for you. That's some speed. Now you know why I don't want Diablo 4 to be like Diablo 3. <laughs> and why sometimes you need to nerf things.
before it needs to be like D2. I mean, I took a lot of D2 elements, I guess, when I made the base game, right? The slow pace, the hard combat, and all that. Low storage space. Great feature on the other two. We brought over. But I mean, like, who's actually still playing D2 or D2R these days? Most people that still play D2 are probably playing more of the mods, like PD2 or something. Is my game audio bugged again today, by the way? You guys can't hear it, right? Why does it always happen? Yeah, there's something wrong with the adult free man. It just fucks it out every single time. The fuck? And it didn't change anything, it still has the same setting. I fixed it yesterday. I think what I did last time is I just changed this, and then I changed it back, and then it worked. Let's see. Yeah, now it works. What the fuck? I just noticed. Check, man. Fucking hell. That was a break point to start using Stricken. Uh, I don't know, when the boss fight is like more than 2-3 minutes, I'd say, this is probably the point where you start using Stricken. Depends a bit on the build and, you know, what you give up. Watch the fireball build, it looks hella fun. Yeah, the fireball is a really cool build. Issue with the four coming from the three, it feels so underwhelming in every sense. Yeah, I mean, okay, if you're like, used to like dopamine explosions on the other three and then you want the same thing in the other four, you're gonna get disappointed. But I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> you know, they just took it way too far in the other three in my book. Ninety percent ancient crisp and one hundred percent non ancient. Well, if the other stats being equal, the non ancient wins for sure. Like one missing ancient or something is not such a big deal like on the ring. If you have like you know eleven or twelve augments already, then the last one that you add is like three percent increase maybe in your power or something. You can easily offset that with a good legendary roll. At 150, I had, I think, 11 augments. Donation COE. And Crispin, I think. The 
I'm not playing D2 right now. I don't have plans to ever do it again. Did actually like new season and start D2 as well or what? A bit surprising. Pants and rings are bad. Or boots and rings, Klein 37. What if resistance would I enjoy seeing in D4? I mean, at this point, not very many. I mean, they're already bringing a lot of stuff from D3 into D4 anyway. So the last thing missing really is the armory. A lot of people are expecting that, or hoping for it, and are expecting it. Yeah, as I said earlier, either in 4 months or in 7 months at the latest. The expansion, I imagine this is like the last time that they would possibly bring it. Outside of that, I mean, D3 doesn't really have much more to offer for Diablo 4. They're already bringing the pit, which is greater rifts. And that's basically the entire game of the Alpha 3 anyway. Whispers are somewhat like bounties. I mean, Echoing Nightmare is not really something worth keeping, I guess, and... Visions are neither that. You know, Visions could be some, some like some, something similar to like a Season theme as well, I guess, in D4. Kinda's of cube is like somewhat interesting. But most of it is like outsourced to NPCs. And then you have like a cube powers. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I mean we already have a bunch of legendary powers in all of our gear, so we don't need to have like more somewhere <coughs> stored away in like the cube. So that doesn't doesn't make much sense, I think. I'd rather have to make like some other progression system that is not legendary powers, you know, something more like Vampiric powers, for example, or something to work on. Hello? Nini arrive. Who makes the best of black in Varna? Uh, Who? I have a guess. Hmm. That must be you. Okay. Yeah. No. Don't mean anyone else. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Nini arrived, guys. Thank you. How was the day out? Really nice for working. Mm. I envy you. You should do that sometime. Really? Now we're dashing around these parts. Vincent. Chat. <laughs> There are a lot of people here. I made you too. Hyper I I I gonna eat too? I tried the potato so eat them now. Okay. I had the Caesar salad for my cup. A Caesar salad? Yeah. What else? The double chicken. <laughs> Double chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the waiter was looking at me very strangely. Why? She with her insane demands all the time. Like the other time I asked for a double cappuccino, but I meant the size, obviously. And he brought me a normal size cappuccino, but apparently it had two spoons of coffee. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unlucky. Are you gonna stay with us a little bit? Are you gonna stay with us a little bit? Are you gonna stay with us a little bit? Yeah. 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 Why? <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No. Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> oh man. Your girlfriend hates when I play Diablo. I luckily not mine. Okay. Look it off. What strain do you want to sit here? Why? I don't know. Plan to propose or something? No, just chilling here, rolling the items, enjoying the Zaplaki. Someone thinks that you're Greek. What do you have to say about that? Me? Hmm. No. How is she? Hmm. Yeah. Artemis impersonated you. Let me speak to your manager. If the Nini see. Hashtag Nini take over. Mm. You, do you like? Are we rolling? No, we're done rolling actually. Mm. I want a gamba. Mm. Feed my addiction. Hmm. Ah, I know what to do. Go away. Oh no. It used to like it's fashion time guys. Fashion time with Nini. Hmm? Uh oh. Okay, make it good. Oh my god, you look like a like you're wearing your nightgown and robe or something. Yeah? We don't want any helmet. Do we want her sexy guys? What do you say? That's a good start. Mm. I made I an amazing monk, monk mug at some point. I need to remember how I how I did it. Mm. Yeah, monk is kind of looking nice. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see much. <laughs> ah, that's my color. Goodbye, my colors. Ah, there we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we want a dark theme? That's my color, but it doesn't look very, very good on her. I think it's the hair. Yeah. There we go. You have to play around the hair. I don't like the hair either. But the rest is kind I of like nice. the hair. I didn't say I don't like the hair. I know you don't like short hair, but it can be nice. It can be. Yeah, the woman has a very, very pretty face. Or pretty legs. You want to show off the legs now? Yeah. She's very athletic. Interesting. I don't think it's a nice combo though. It's kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that the monk needs to show the, the, their toes. Mm. <laughs> what if they were painted? Yeah, we will paint it. Finally, some endgame. True endgame, yes. Yeah, looks like a birthday suit right now. We got a, we got a wink. When virtue carries evil smiles. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do this first. And then we will deal with this or that is hanging wannabe chainmail or whatever that is looks is so that bad the correct word or you should or... change change the pants please don't change the pants yeah what do you mean i don't have pants yeah it's like this hanging thing there looks really bad just man just managing to die easy
Do you like your sea black kid? Mm -hmm. Then don't speak. Okay, do you have any suggestions for the boots? I'll take some of the smaller ones, I guess. Like these are just like insanely large. It and, looks like a and, musketeer now. Yeah. Take more of the purse. Back. No love for the moth. Not at all. Okay. We can just admire her pretty toes, no? Yiros would like it. Uba build. What does Yiros better than Sublaki means? We see Sublaki with heroes. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. Sublaki is a generic word. It involves all the, the stuff we put inside. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Ah, wait a minute. This is part of the chest piece. You have to change the chest. Yeah. You have to change the chest. But I like the chest. Mm. Much better. Mm. You like your little skirt? What was that nice mm. one I have made? It's not bad. Back, I guess. Mm. I'll try them all once. So you don't like you don't like things hanging? No, not necessarily. This is fine. Because the other one looked really bad with the chain, I think. Some of them are really colorful. Hmm. Nice nettles. Hmm. Elegant. Ah. What? I'm afraid she might get a cold or something. <laughs> like a more cloaky thing is kind of cool. Ah, that's my favorite. Really? Glory days. Of course, it's the impale, the shadow mountain. Mm -hmm. Glory days, as I said. She has a bit of assassin in her looks. Yep. Oh, then let's deal with this over here. Here comes a Karam. What the hell? Karam. Karam. You know, the harvester of souls. So I never understood why the demon hunter has mugs for the spear instead of swords. Can you explain this to me? <laughs> yeah, very liberal in this game. Like, right. if your college point identifies as a spear, it's a spear. You know? Easy. Meaning it's to start blasting too. I don't have time now, guys. Otherwise, I would. I don't know if Woody told you, found a new apartment in Greece, so we're moving yet another time soon. Of course. And someone needs to do real life stuff, let's say. Hmm? Nice. This or this. How about a big hammer? The pool? A big hammer. No. Why? Ah, here it's elegant and it goes well with her, the rest of her. Sorry, tip. Hmm? The tip. Can anything hurt anyone? Ah. Maybe we can do something with this here. Yellow was nice. Mm -hmm. I think I made a, a yellow themed monk once, inspired by the Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon movie. You know, which is a bit ancient. 
Mein Gott. I mm. like this helm. Yeah, this could be something, but they need to make an entire mock around it. Mm. Do it. No. Mm -hmm. I'll say you Challenge do. accepted. Yeah. Easy. I already found the. You see? Mm hmm. Let's make it like this. Yeah. Can you call the helm? Can I what? The helm. I think so. Now you look like Mortal Kombat character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, bum cracks, by the way. Um, I just found with Bone Spear anyway. I just like changed a little bit to like Teeth Rune and these kind of things. And an Aura of Frailty, for example. Dark Reaping passive. It was kind of like how we did like two minute runs or faster on like lower tiers. Perfection. Always. I'll accept it. You like my creation? This one more than this, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. You have no fashion sense. No. You remember my monk from season 27? Mm -hmm. Well, what? If I sell your monk in season 27, mm -hmm. no. Hmm. Yeah. You have girlfriend. Hope you're happy. She's you well played, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I used the wings once and you told me they look horrible. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. In the right combo? Actually, not bad. Actually, now that you mention it, I completely forgot about wings in this game. I don't like wings very much. Really, now. There's a shadow mantle that enjoy you. Yeah, that's another thing. That's like a trophy, you know? Would he can't speak with his monk like a trash can. This one you mean? Looks like a, a zerg. Mm -hmm. Can he steal this wagon? Mm. What's up? Uh, can I... Uh... What something something? Ask something. Okay. Oh, by the way, you want to see Patton's character? She posted it. See whose character? Patton. Let's see. Where did you post it? D3 mm -hmm. mods. It was D3. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Time, scythe, mm -hmm. goal set. You need to change the boot. Mm -hmm. I like the spider, it goes well with the rest of the suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but need to change the boots. Nice one, though. Did we redeem? Can we check my transmog? No, but she puts it in a second. Okay. So am I gonna play GR now? You wanna play GR? Yeah. Do you know this build? Uh, I haven't played it for ages. Okay. No, I haven't played it. <laughs> for a long time, I mean. The last one I played was Tempest Rush. Well. <clears throat> Free. Dash around. Yeah, enjoy. 
Are you disappointed? Yeah. She's right, you know. I'm. I'm. What about? I'm not sure. How does it feel to be back on the big grind? Refreshing, nostalgic? Uh, nostalgic, I guess. It's not even nostalgic, really. The game is too recent for nostalgia, I would say. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just enjoying my time for a few days. You know, do a bit of racing. That's kind of cool. But now I'm already kind of like starting to lose steam a bit. So I'm gonna get the monk down and then we'll see. So many desperate. Yeah. You don't even pick them up. I mean, that's why, huh? <laughs> I have way too many. Yeah. You can upgrade stuff. You want a gamba? Yes. I said fit my addiction. I fed you some like and you don't fit my addiction. I'll see what I can do. I need to gamble. Yeah, wait. Well, you feel it's a dollar, but you don't have many charge. How did you? Pick my poison. Okay. How about your weapon? No. No? We want the perfect squirt? I made like four primal squares in my time. Okay, good luck. Mm. Yeah, but can you sit here? <laughs> I can just go to the side a bit. Mm. Watch out. It's very fun. I can't see shit. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Okay, what element do we want? Okay. We want cold, crit, crit. Or we want dex, crit, crit. Cold. Yeah. Okay. Mm. If you get physical, you also stop. What? If you get physical, you can also stop. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's your wife, God. I wish I was her. You want to be you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but who says that? Is that a he or a she? Does matter? Yeah. Out of curiosity. Well, you don't want my luck, I guess. Do we want attack speed? No, just element and crit crit. I see what I can do. It's a he. Look at this nice area damage. Yeah. Really? Then that's a great, great compliment. It's going very poorly. Ah, uh, no. Uh. Yes. Wait. Yeah, but it's not even ancient. Do the other one. Oh, you want to sacrifice this? No, it's pretty crappy. Hmm. What? Yeah. No. Put, put it in the stash. What? Which? This? Both. We have more. Okay. This is definitely better than the one I made. That's int. Hmm? It's int. True. Mm -hmm. And this? No, I won't be playing any holy build, I think, but no, nah, leave it there for now. I might use this, but I have another one there. Just use the other one. Hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. And there's one down here as well, I think. Or this one. I don't know, this Okay. I just put. I'll take this one. Your stash is a mess. Some new things for you to take a look at. Two. Hmm. 
Hmm. No, it's very bad. Yeah. <laughs> Work for your diary. I demanded that. I need to feed my gamba addiction. Doesn't go violent now. Eesh. Why can't we upgrade rares? We have so many death. Rares. Best all round class is Necromancer by far. Mm. The season. So the S tier and it was covered with Necro. Mm -hmm. What do you think about our tier list? I think it's the best one you've yeah, ever made. It's very long delayed. When I started playing, Necro was shit. What? Yeah, it wasn't that good. Really? It was never Necro ever not good? Uh, not every build. Oh, there you go. I think it only had like a couple of good builds back then. Corpse lands, man. Those were the times. Did you play Corpse Lands? Of course. How do you like it? It was my favorite skill by far. Mm. Right until Bone Spear. Hmm, save this one. Mm -hmm. Save this one. I need this as an ancient though. Please take me with you. Do you have another? Uh, search for it. There might be more. No, type it. Ah, oh, here's something. Yeah, take this one. Necro bad versus doors. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need to make a, a door breaking tier list. Wow, how many bounties did you do? No, uh, almost done. You get I, the... It's from the thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine if you had to do bounties and as I said. Yeah, been there, done that. Not for long. Mm. Okay. Square doesn't like me anymore. Yeah, it's a very poor performance, to, to be honest. Am I not impressing you? No. I got a socket this time. It's my first socket. Yeah, I don't remember seeing one. 99 crit! Very attempt. Okay, how many items do I have? That was ancient. Which one? No, no. Socket one. There was nothing here that we wanted. Socket? Fire. Oh shit. 91%. Now keep that. Physical res. I'm not planning to play a fireball, but let's keep it for now. I might do something. Is my work here done? Yeah. No. You can try a Traveler's Pledge. A what? Traveler's Pledge. I still need one too. For okay. Raymond. Let me put this here. No, this is... Yeah. I'm taking this. Yeah. I just re an Ancient. Oh no. <laughs> What do I do with an ancient shit roll? What do we want here? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, which element do we go for, Raymond? I've heard many of these in my day. I think Raymond has played with fire. Give did... me that. Wait, I need to check. Yeah. It used to be fire, at least, but now it's different, so I don't know. Let me see season 30. I suppose it's still fire. Which game do you think you'll be going to when you're done with the three? First of all, he's going on a trip with me, and then? No, first oh. of all, we're going to play Torchlight. True that. Then we're going to play Norris for the Wicked. Then we're going to play D4 Planner, and then we're going on a trip. D4 yeah. Planner, yay. Yeah. Okay. And after that? What about Path of Exile? Yeah, I still want to continue with PvE a little bit, I guess maybe next week. We also have the um, Ori and the Blind Forest that I want to do. What element do we want? Uh, honestly, I prefer Dex. Nice element. Yeah. Dex of Fire, I guess. Element of Surprise. 
No. Mm. No. <clears throat> Come on, give me a good one. How many souls do we have? 1500. Oh, shit. What? You're almost out. It's broken ground, broken. No. But you need to have a gem in your helm. Oof. I insist in upgrading rares. Nah, we're not doing that. I like doing that. Yeah. And you always get a surprise. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the one. Oh! Okay. Good job. That's good enough. I like it. Can I keep it? Oh. I can send you a... Thank you, Nini. I can send you a screenshot and you can frame it. Thank you, Nini. Okay. Okay, we got something at least. But we're almost out of mats. So, yikes. What? <laughs> I said yikes, we're almost okay. out of mats now. <laughs> but we got something. So that's that. You find more. How many keys do we have? 200. Your broken crown is not working. Okay, you put a broken crown on your follower. And then you put a socket in your helm. Like a, a gem in your helm. And we'll drop that gem. You want dessert? That is too expensive. Dessert? Yes. Hmm, what kind of dessert are we talking? I have the rice pudding I made yesterday and something I brought. That sounds exciting. My rice pudding. Both, I guess. Mm. What did you bring? I brought the clay. Oh, I'll take the rice pudding. What? Yes. But it's so fresh. Yeah, I don't like the clay. I thought you like it. That's why I bought it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's alright, but I'll I... give it to Chad then. Okay, give it to Chad. You can do giveaway. <laughs> I have two eclairs, actually. Two eclairs? Yeah. You can put one winner on Twitch and one on YouTube. Oh, I was so certain you liked it, Claire. You even bought one when you went to the doctor the other yeah, day. Yeah, that, that was by accident. Huh? That was by accident. Doubt it. No, I didn't know it was a like Claire. No, 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 no. You have bought other times too. Anyway, I don't like it. And I would have nothing to do with it. You're such a brat. <laughs> brat? No. Why? Say thank you, Nini, for, for bringing me a dessert and for your thought. Thank you for the dessert and the thought. Mm, that's more <laughs> like it. <laughs> okay, guys. <clears throat> I guess I need to have dessert now. Ah. <laughs> and you're like, hmm, okay. Oh well. <laughs> With DJ and Trackmania. You know, this game is basically Trackmania of RPGs, yes. Why I play D3, not D4? Oh, because I was racing for the first here. And now we're just gonna do a bit more for fun. And no one's really playing D4 right now until May. Best to farm primers is play. Count the legendaries per minute. Yeah, I, like basically don't farm primals. You know, farming, farming primals is not a thing. Like you don't do that. Like you don't get primals often enough for you know primal drops to really matter. 
either get lucky here and there or you don't, and that's it. Like, I've almost fully get up this monk, and I found like three primers on this character or so in total. So, this is kind of how that goes. If I do like another, I don't know, three to five hours of monk blasting, maybe get another one or two primal drops. Doubled from the altar, sure. And that's it. And then the monk is completely ready with everything. <coughs> is it normal that the Tagur setup is a lot more squishy than the season before? That is normal, yeah, this is the cube season. And in the cube season, everyone replaces toughness with, you know, extra weapons and whatever. So this is how season 31 works. You can try to use, like, um, esoteric alteration. And just generally maybe roll a bit more defensive stats in your gear, like vitality, armor, life. And you might be okay. But the weapons are too important, on, especially Necro. The weapons are insanely strong in the cube, so you want to use those. And just try to compensate elsewhere. But yeah, traditionally you run like Guardian set on Tragools and you have also Mantle of Channeling and you lose all that. So you are going to be kind of squishy, yes. But yeah, as I said, so try to get defense from other sources, you know, instead of like rolling area damage on the glove, you can get Vitality. Instead of rolling Death Nova on the helm, or crit on the helm, you can roll Vitality. Just try to like, you know, stack that up. And that will be much more worth it than trying to replace one of the weapons. Did I have a struggle with repetitive strain injury? I'm not sure exactly how that feels. I mean, I did have times when, like, you know, maybe a finger or something hurt here and there, but generally I don't have big issues. Uh oh. It's not bad. Play for 14 hours, now I got an Amber's Pride. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 14 hours, that's extremely unlucky. And Amber's Pride is such an important item too for a moment. Need to farm the visions, man. Even on lower difficulty or so, even if you can only do like, I don't know, Torment 10, if you farm visions, you can get. A lot of random loot really fast and hopefully get it. I got look of good luck with the Targul Necro. Hello. So divine. I will choose it too. <laughs> um, so what happens to the eclair now? Oh look, we got a primal. Thank you. Let's see what it is. A spirit stone and a two-handed sword. Oh no. Is that Ashbringer? No, that looks like the uh, blood brother. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's a whole 110 ashes. <laughs> Give me that plate. It's your prime lull. Mm. 
Yeah, it's doubled from the altar. Very good. Oh, wait. She's gone. It's ogre. Need to message Nini on Discord now. Erlang Shen. Wow. Maybe I should use it. I mean, this is Shen Dijo, so. Let's now do gems. Gems have their own tab. Is that hard? I'm talking about uh, Diablo 3. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, but I don't think that looting gems is a problem, really. I mean, how often do you loot gems? It happens like once every few minutes or something, like after every boss kill and a golden pack or something. I mean, they don't have like this like multi-tab inventory system here in V3, so they have to like build that from scratch. Put the gems in material storage. That would be an option, I guess, that they did that in D4. Air damage on the tires ring fine over crit chance. Ah, uh, it works, I'd say. You have extra crit chance on Atalia anyway because of the uh, card drops. And boss kill is usually pretty good, so we don't care about like losing with a single target damage. Actually, while we add it, I could just make a primal in us reach here, no? We have had 85 primal ashes. Let's just do it. Fuck it. Oh, God damn it. 10% damage. It's kind of funny, like a green, red set item. Uh, how would I fare without the spirit? I think we want the spirit, but let's see. I mean, we also have Guardian's Path, right? No, we don't. So it would be 6 Spirit per second, I guess. Yeah, that's not as cool. How much GPS increase is this? It was like 3.4k or 3.3 or something. Now it's 4.4. So that's like a 30% DPS increase, plus better ethics. Like the um, Mystic Ally damage was like really low, it was like 90. So you probably have something like plus 50% DPS now. Pretty good actually. I think I'm going greedy. We roll off the Vitality, even though it's kind of big. Mm. 
Uh, I mean, the vitality is 1,500. It's like a third of my vitality right now, almost. 30%. Quite a big loss. In fact, with only 10,000 decks, if I want to compensate for the vitality loss, I would have to move 1500 decks. 1500 decks is actually worth more than the 10% damage. Maybe I'm gonna roll the 10% damage to a spirit regen. And it's fine. Since we're kind of low paragon anyway. Get it. Six spirit region is kind of cool. It's crazy good this season. Uh, nothing is good compared to Necromancer this season. But every class has good builds on their own, basically, so you can definitely play Crusader if you want to. The monk build is pinned. That ability is not yet recharged. Okay, what else do we make primal? The braces, right? No, wait. We're only gonna do that for pen, pen, uh, Tempest Rush, but not for Rayman. For Rayman, I actually got really good spirit guards that I don't need to make primal. So I can make something else primal on my Raymond. So what will I be though? I don't even want to make a Shandong primal because it's not really a big value. Also I need a Shandong for two builds, so I kind of want to make them for both. Hmm. Your boy needs this speed. Hell no. How about that? <laughs> I might do the adjustments for season 4 after PTR. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have two big patch notes days, man. And the thing is that in Diablo 3, usually there was not a huge change between like PTR start and then season start. Yeah, some stuff got nerfed or whatever, some st broken stuff got fixed. But they rarely ever did like a huge turnaround on some things, and I kind of expect like a lot of like. There's a lot, a lot of little things. But also I expect like some kind of like major rebalancing of like, you know, temper affixes and whatever in the final patch notes. It's probably gonna be a lot of Cedar. You're always low on gems. Well, get a broken crown. In Rifts you can get a bunch of gems. And uh, ancient puzzle rings or normal puzzle rings, even you can run those. And then, um, hope for the best, I guess. When you see a rainbow goblin, try to farm the clouds. Just ask for a Rainbow Goblin. Always works. Primal included. Did a huge turnaround on Shadow Clones and Witch Doctor's 95 power. That was one tapping on 50 bosses. 
Yeah, okay, I wouldn't call it a huge turnaround. This was just like some broken shit that they fixed, basically, right? So... It was just like kind of completely busted and they, they changed that and that is kind of like expected, I'd say. That is not like, you know, that doesn't go into PTR and then any reasonable person would think that this is intended. So I think that's okay. He brought puzzle wings into ancient. Holy. Someone must be swimming in souls there. A new game. I think I found the 60 Necro with Bone Spear, with Teeth Rune, or Auto Lancer, or Red Mage, the best. No, oh, Tom Engler, are you still here, by the way? Sorry. Okay. Well, about LD Nova. LD Nova is an okay farming build as well. Personally, I just preferred uh, Bone Spear this season. But Nova works, and 120 in 5 minutes is not bad. I would suggest you try to go a bit faster, like, you know, go down 5 tiers, try to go to like 3 minute runs. I guess especially bosses will take too long at that point if you have single target bosses. So you can start to Bone Spear or just stick to Nova, that works. But you just want to go a bit down, I guess, unless you boost your gems or so. Rough and stuff here, yeah, it's gonna establish this. Maybe I'm gonna stop gambling for gloves because those that I have are actually kind of fine. Justice, and maybe I'm gonna make a primal glove for my Raymond. Because we have the travelers, we have the compass and rose, we have Shenlongs at some point, hopefully. So I guess I'm gonna go back to reforging uh, gambling chests and try to get the good Petals of Justice chest.
Lone Space not really better than Nova, but it's closer than usual this season. This bone spear profits a little bit more from the season theme. Are you ready? Do come back again. That is too expensive. Long is worth trying in. Eh? Long is very fun class. I'd say it's my second favorite after the age in this game. Those are pretty cool builds. And they all feel pretty fast. Uh, Necros, fresh 70, you should go for LOD and then play around what he gets until you can do Nova or a Bone Spear. Rafma, you can make Rafma work as a starter, but it's somewhat clunky until you have a good setup. And even when you do, it's not really the smoothest. Perfect gear? I don't have perfect gear. No. Mm. But they're uh, slowly getting there. I'm trying to get just 300 keys and then go GRs. Actually, I gotta say, I kind of like having this permanent pool thing. Because in the past, I always used to do just stuff like farm rifts and then go farm GRs and farm rifts again until you have pools. Now it's just like you can do whatever you want whenever you want it. I guess pools of reflection was a mistake in general, but it's kind of nice that they made them a non-issue now. I have infinite dashing strike. Uh, Raymond 4 piece set. It's inner and Raymond combo. Get a paragon in. Oh my god, I bugged him out again. Second time today, fucked out the blue goblin. Try to be careful even. I'll start doing jars in like 15 minutes or so. Can I try Witch Doctor? I can, but not this season. I played Witch Doctor already last season, actually. I really like Witch Doctor as well. It's fun class. Sardis. Hmm. Chicken is actually the one build I don't like on which doctor. <laughs> I know it's like one of the things that everyone loves Wish Doctor for, but I don't. 
And I get for the other builds. Rainbow Ball Grimm cannot be in Rifts now. Anything that spawns, like an extra, you know, map or something, cannot spawn in Rifts. The Rainbow Goblin, the Visions, they don't appear there. Or like the, the Cow Level also doesn't spawn here. Or the, the Treasure, uh, what is it, a Vault, doesn't spawn here either. Is that Frost Blink? <laughs> uh, I guess Frost Blink looks somewhat similar these days. Any quicker Necro build than Amateur Dead with Crimson? Yes. I found with Bone Spear, which was like acceptable. And that's definitely faster. Like, yeah, Roughman can go pretty high, but he can't go very fast. This Paragon is uh, 6.2. I'm actually going to be quite well geared now for um, GRs. Nice. 8.7% toughness. Pretty good some vocal glove, but we're not doing that. Okay, keys are 269. Nice. 31 more. Let me go with GRs. I'm not 250 on Monk, nah. Like on Hardcore, with a really try hard push, it will be probably the earliest at like 3k Paragon or something. And we're gonna be far away from that. I'm gonna end the season with like 1700 maybe or something, so. After all my pushing. No Demon Hunter this season. I played a lot last season. I did the World First last season with Demon Hunter, actually. So I'm not really trying to go again on Demon Hunter. It was fun though. We'll see what comes next time. I guess next time 
Well, I don't know. At the very minimum, I'm gonna play in the ephemeral, not the ephemeral season, the uh, sanctified season. I'm gonna play Demon Hunter, I guess. Because the straight impale is kind of nice. Now nah, we'll see. Ephemerals, what was that? That's a Buriza. It's also uh, supercharges the God DH, which is kind of cool. Buriza was fun to play with. Actually, Ephemeral Season is really cool for uh, Witch Doctors as well. They were really strong for Witch Doctors, I believe. So I think it was the last time I played in groups. That's correct, actually, in Season 27. <laughs> you remember that. Yeah, yeah we did uh, 150 there. In the day one, that was cool. With, uh, with Rob playing Hoda Barb, man. <laughs> with the Shockwave Power, man. <laughs> that was funny. But I think the Necros were better in the end. Actually, I wonder how it would be this time. Like, they've nerfed Nova since then. Was it Nova? I think it was Nova, right? That people were playing later. But Nova is nerfed now. And Hoda is not nerfed. So maybe Hoda would actually be the meta when the Sanctifieds come back. That's interesting. Maybe something else. I don't know if there's something else that was buffed in the meantime. To be honest, it was fucking badass. The Hoda bar with the shockwave was really cool. I was low-key hoping they would just change one of the items to make this like a permanent thing for Hoda. But unfortunately they didn't. Or maybe like make it like an um, Immortal King effect or something. I think that would kind of go well with Immortal King. As like a Hoda set that has this effect. So it'd be much better than like the scuffed whatever set it is now. In a friend that had a demon hunter was much faster than monk. Well then I have not seen monks, I guess. I guess I'm very slow, turns out. Guys, I need to step up my game. Apparently, this is beaten by Demon Hunters. Chatting. Best way to transition to an art class playing solo. I level to 70, farm some bloodshots on your main, gamble some, you know, I don't know, tier 13 plus ready set. And then go farm visions. You don't have to go straight to T16. Like if you can't farm at farm at 13 or something, that's fine. Just farm some missions once you can do that. That's easy to reach. Grandfather two handed sword for barbs. Ah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, there was even like Frenzy was even played with that, right? He used Frenzy with two handed sword, I remember. That's kind of funny. I think Roman as well. How did it work? Like these Imperials, they had like a big 
with like damage bonus. It had like a passive. And it had like a random weapon power, right? Or something like that. And a bunch of stats. Yeah, the two handed whirlwind was actually kind of cool, man. As well. Yeah, if Hero Season's gonna be Pog, man. And Sanctified as well. Uh, we're probably not going to push in today. We have to do some preparation still. I'm gonna do some key farm, gonna do some petrified key, uh, some petrified screams. I have to do, um. Actually, I wonder if I can do the inner monk for uh, petrified screams instead of my necro. Not sure what's better. Probably the necro. Man, double secondary even on this thing. Close one. This is an inner reach made into a primal with the cube. Spin doesn't work on the screams, so Necro is horribly bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I need a lot of damage in uh, the screams. I didn't even like tank off my Crispin, <laughs> so I didn't really bother. It's just like the Bone Spear just doesn't do it very fast. It's like, I don't know, at least two minutes per run, I guess. It's not the worst, but. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I can do it more comfortably on the Monk. The answer is probably yes, but I'm very squishy on this. Even with the unity in the build. But we have turning and serenity, which makes it kind of easier. Make a primal of cube recipe 11. Yeah, I can use the bovine uh, sticks to uh, get portals pretty easily. I'll try this as well. Kind of forgot about it and established one earlier. Uh, it's, it's actually not a very popular zone here. Waking Fury and Jam in now with the Fabulous Shoulder Farm Augments. Yeah, I guess we don't really need the Raymond here. We'll see. I think I did save the Fabulous Shoulder. You could even put in like uh, inner pants, inner boots, or Kurus boots equipped. And then use like double bracer. You can go Spirit Guards, the Fabra, and we're gonna be very tanky. Rainbow is in the mysterious cave, yeah. Just regain until I get the bounty. 
tried doing it without bounty, but that's very inconsistent. I think it's just going for the bounty only is the easiest. Like even on a build like this that is very fast at checking the oasis is a pretty big zone. You have to always check two different spots and it just never appears when there's no bounty man. Like I tried this like I don't know 15 different times and I never found the cave without the bounty. Soul Shots this season, this is season 31. Soul Shots will be again in two years or something. Gula LD, definitely with two man barb. Uh, LD is a bit stronger this season. If you have a good gear, then you should use LD. Is very good for gear. And we do one more rift, turns out. Let's go. I was to 300 keys and then we go GRs a little bit, and get verified screams and some more gear hopefully. If I want to augment Raymond and POJ, I need some more augments from verified screams. Also, I need to put one more augment on my bone spear because I got a sick lost time offhand. And potentially, we wanted to farm. Uh, More augments for LOD push, but we'll see. Exactly, be honest. Now we use a cold meta reduction 99 at Gangdo gear. Mm. Not a season. Okay, do we change anything else here? C speaking. Uh, we did change. What was that? I don't think I went for a message with was I doing this?
Nah, I think I had the same stuff, no? I don't think I changed really anything. Was I going to focus on restraint? Ah, I think I was going to focus on restraint, I just realized. See how the boss damage We have a list for the three season themes, so upcoming seasons. Uh, no. I think I want to go focus on restraint here. Equip the rock, drop the unity here. You definitely play something else that's not Necro, that's fine. Necro is just way stronger than other classes. But, you know, if you want to compete on a certain class, then you're going to compete against a certain class of, you know, whatever you're playing, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should have kept the resource here. And roll off the decks as well as would have been better. Let's see how damage us. Yeah, I know the power now. I think Thorns Barb's gonna pop off in Season 4. Out of all things, Thorns Barb. Why do you think Thorns Barb? What happened with Thorns? How bad does the 4 have to be that people rather play the 3? Uh, not very much at all, really. People just like the 3, it turns out. I 
bounce buff, crazy damage. Yeah, but wait, where? From what? Like, where did I come from? I mean, I know that Fawns is kind of strong, but why is it suddenly good compared to our builds? What's one thing in the three I would ban from coming to the four? Uh, Robo Hut, I guess. Nah, but I don't know. In general, I guess six piece sets. Very serious. Pretty consistent one minute runs. Are you ready? Do you come back again? Please I can't soon. carry any more. Such a brave. Don't forget, luck always changes. I'm not sure if they're gonna bring sets to the other four. Could be an expansion or whatever. Like they left them out of the, the release for good reason. I think that was like a smart move to not make sure that you know the other four is, gets like some weird stigma of having sets again, like the three and people with baby rage for no reason and stuff like that. So that's fine. There's nothing wrong with just sets per se, so they could definitely bring them to Diablo 4. But it should be more like Diablo 2 sets, and less like Diablo 3 sets. But they could be cool, you know, like sets would definitely open up. Like actual playstyles. I mean, they're already making kind of like pseudo sets, right? Like for example, the Grenade Rogue in Season 4. You know, it's effectively like a set. You know, you need to have all of those legendary powers in your build in order to play a Grenade Rogue. And, uh, you know, something like that could easily be transformed into, like, a set that opens up, like, its own playstyle in some way. You know, something that is, like, too transformative for, like, a single legendary power or unique. Can easily be, like, distributed among, like, you know, a two or three or four piece set or something. And I think that's okay. Like, right now it's just, like, a set in disguise. If you look at Grenade Rogue. That's one example. I mean, there's also not, nothing really inherently wrong with the three sets, I guess. Just that, you know, they should remove... Everything that has a number, just remove the number. And then you can start from there. Like, if, if I was in charge of, like, a second D3 expansion, that's, like, how I would have started. Just take every set and remove numbers. Like, every single number, just, like, cut all the zeros that it has. And then you start from there. And the same on all the legendary items. Just remove every single zero that exists anywhere. And then go from there. Yeah, 
And they would have probably created like a you know legendary system that was like much closer to what uh, defaulted in the end actually. So it defaulted actually a pretty good legendary system. It's like very close to what I would have had in mind for like a second expansion of D3 or was what I was hoping for what they would do at some point. They did almost exactly that basically in D4, so it's kind of nice. But yeah, I could have kept sets around in D3 in an expansion as well. You know, there's no reason to throw it all away. But they need like a hard reset on all of the power creep and the numbers. Twenty five hour hundred and fifty. Uh, I've done twenty five hours this time now. Twenty six actually. Last season I did eighteen, so <laughs> that was the fastest so far, season thirty. And we'll probably remain the fastest, maybe, until next soul shot season. Although if here is I don't know if here is season sanctified season, maybe there could be a stronger build, a faster build. Strafe impale, I don't know. Might be strong enough actually to do 150 day one. Made a normal rift. Oops. For sanctified season soon. Yeah, let's do like soul shards, sanctified, ethereals all in a row. Burn all of the good seasons in one go. Then only have like shit seasons for two years straight until they come back. Let's go. I we already started with one now, I guess. Edge game, yeah. Like, this season is, like, very unpopular, I guess, at this point. It's kind of funny. Season 20 used to be very popular, but this season, season 21, I guess, with, like, other season themes existing, it just kind of pales. Yeah. The cube stuff is not that interesting. Oh, 51 seconds. We improved by 9 seconds, actually. That's a lot. The climbing again, guys. I see Prince of Hell. What's up? Hello. How's it going? Tier 2. Thank you, man. Climbing again. Two in a row. 49 seconds now. Let's go. And this was a interestingly a blood clan map. I'm also doing great. Thank you. What have you been up to, Ice Prince of Hell?
Strength 35 on a 90 rift. Yeah, I don't want to play. I mean, okay, this is solo cell phone hardcore, so it's not a very popular mode in the first place. But yeah, the free year is definitely uh, not what it used to be like, you know, one, two years ago, I'd say. It's obvious 54 out and everything, so I'll say Puck is out, PoE is going ham, sort of stuff. Also, you know, no new patches and stuff, so I guess the hype, and ge hype levels are generally like very contained. Mind the wizard not to a timer, how long you can see, how long you've played a character. Actually, you can do that now. But it's scuffed and only shows you in days and it doesn't show you hours, which is very stupid. But I think it's just like massive failure in design work and user interface. I don't think they really had a reason not to show it. In fact, you know, they started showing it now for some reason, but they didn't do it before. And I think it's just like a pega, if you ask me. When in doubt, you can explain all things with just Pepega in Diablo 4, I'd say. Eight to one ratio of people playing the three over the four in your friend list. <laughs> nah, not unlikely, I guess. Let's see. That's a lot of people here. There's one guy in WoW, and then that one is somewhere. I don't see anyone on the four on my friend list. There's no one next time at 50. I'll do a time attack with Bone Spear at some point, I think. Maybe try to get like a 10 minute clear or a 9 minute clear or something like that, so maybe. We're also gonna have like 200 more paragons or so from the original. Which is also a little bit helpful. Just like, you know, fish another 100 keys, do a few Oryx. I get a nice run. And the run I had was okay, but. That ha did have a pretty shitty start, I think. And a really late Condi as well. Like, I got my Condi, I think, at 72%. You know, that could be like 50%. <laughs> Literally, like, three minutes earlier or two minutes earlier or something. And I would still spawn the boss probably, so. Before new season today. I'm not sure where that is coming from, but the answer is no. It's another month. I guess you confuse two numbers. The 14th of the 5th month, not the 15th of the 4th month. Thanks, Anshak Any PoE soon? Uh, maybe. We'll see how my goals go with the monk here tomorrow. I guess tomorrow we're gonna start pushing on a monk. We'll see how far we get. And yeah, otherwise I don't want to make a third character really in the free. 
So I might just like go and do some PoE as well before Friday when Torchlight starts and no way straight it. a uh, green gem in the helm for broken crown and easy augments. I don't need to put a green gem in my helm for that. You can just convert whatever color of gems to any color. Why would you put a green? <laughs> well, Doing some fast clears here, man. Sub one minute pretty consistently. I know. No. What's going on? Why you keep sending the sad cats? Nice to see you. Oh. Can you help me? Ah, you need help with something. Yeah. What? I'm dying. Don't have water. Yeah. You're too discreet. Instead of saying bring water, you just send sad cats. And you expect me to guess what you need, huh? Yeah, I usually understand. No. <laughs> and here I thought that you missed me. Oh. You were with us for a while. That was nice. You invited me. Yes. Katze is here. She just had a nini. Katy. Katy, how are you? Are you playing D3? Odd, this seems similar to Pits in D4, Munka him. <laughs> hmm. Necro. What build? Tired, okay. What do I think if they bring chance in D4? Uh, I mean, if they do it like last Epoch, sure, but then they're gonna get, get shouted at that they're gonna copy that another thing from last Epoch, so. Okay, cool. I think they can make other interesting progression I think systems. I'm gonna start playing later. I'll probably go necro myself. You wanna be overpowered? So I just wanna be past that leveling. Mm -hmm. Well, you have... Why do you always start streaming without water lately? Lately? Yeah, yesterday too. It's as if I've never done that before. I can't carry any more. Well, you should, you should actually start because you can get the challenge rift and then you can... I already got the cash. Uh, yeah, and then you can get the next one tomorrow. Isn't it later tonight? Well, it's like 5 a.m. or something. Yeah. Yeah, so you can basically I start and... I the first one. I don't care. I know. I can wait a few days. <laughs> she wants the bone spear. I'm gonna ask her. Chat says you want my bone spear. Is that correct? Hey, what? <laughs> Your bone spear. Yes. Here, are you happy with that now? Yeah. Mm. Thank you.
flashback. Scrum Jack set up. Ah, you are the naughty one. Well, Bone Spear was really enjoyable this season so far. What? Bone Spear was very enjoyable this season so far. I say so. Can recommend. You wanna lure me to playing bow with a Bone Spear, Woody? Hmm. I'm just saying you could try it. Maybe I have tried it in the past and didn't like it. Okay, that's unfortunate. Thank you. No more messages from you, I guess. That was the wrong thing now. <laughs> I can still send another message. I know. Is it like a happy cat? A sad cat, but is it a happy cat? No. Why not? Cats are sad with this point. Oh, I don't always sad. Mm. I can send a cool cat. We have a happy cat here. Cat, you change the color of your name again? Or was it always green? Uh, I remember her as green. I think she had another. I think she was purple, you know? Should have been here earlier, Katzi. It was my my fashion time, my fashion show. I had enough of food this transmog. Who says I touched the transmogs? What? Who says I touched the transmog? You said that what? That I touched the transmog. You touched. You mean you changed it? You no, changed it back to normal? No, no, I said that I, I meant that I didn't touch it, you know? Yeah, that's a problem with your voice. Hmm. Well, I at least now song. the male wizard won't look down on you. He's very smug. Have you heard him? The wizards, in general, both the male and the female. The, uh, the voice? I don't know about the voice, actually. I remember the female wizard saying, I'm so good, I astonish myself or something. Mm. Yeah. They're very fashionable too. You look like you could use a new item there. Just like a uh, Sorx in D4. Mm -hmm. Do come back again. Don't I cannot afford that. Always changing. Come back. Yeah. But now it's just GR farm. Yeah, it seems it was perfect before. Happy. Okay, and a question for you from chat. So, which feature from the Diablo 3 would you st still like in Diablo 4? I think I like what's already in Diablo 4. That's the gambling part. It's very predictable. If you know me, what else do I like in this three? Not much. Just Gamba. Gamba, Pylons. We have Pylons. Um, I like the mold. Can they bring back a mold class? Mm. Yeah. Which build do you like for the monk? Which build? Yeah. Not many. It's kind of interesting. Monk is a very much requested class, I think. Mm. I hear that all the time. Yeah, with good reason. It's fast. Uh, it's usually easy to gear. It's a nice concept. No? Sets. Well, my favorite was Tempest Rush. <laughs> More weird crystals. Hmm? <laughs> More weird crystals, says Emporium. Mm-hmm. 
Let's go. I was trying hard when it's time to think of other features I like in the play. Because it's a game I played for thousands of hours, and now I can't. Well, I guess it's also that a lot of stuff from Diablo 3 is already in Diablo 4, I guess. Like, we have bounties, we have the Kadala, we yeah, have... but in D4 uh, I much prefer doing Whispers rather than bounties in D3. Yeah, I mean, Whispers are significantly better than bounties, that's for sure. <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> Yeah, I like that it's open world instead of like this. Okay, so what other feature, not necessarily from the Avalor, would you like in D4? <laughs> okay, from everything else I've played then? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I think the perfect game would be something that would combine things from Path of Exile, Last Depot, like the crafting, and Grim Dawn. Green Dawn. Green Dawn, yeah. Well, everyone is saying that the Outlaw 4 copied Last Epoch's crafting already. So I guess that is already settled. I haven't yet tried it, so I can't say what to say about that. Yeah, I think it's a bit far fetched, but yeah. The few things I read it showed some similarities, but not the fact that copy pasting. But even if it did, it sounds like an accusation. Oh, people like that, so. Uh, yeah, why not? If something is good, why not? No, I meant the accusations. Like to accuse. I think, yeah, people like to complain a lot. Do you have any complaints, Woody? Yes. Oh. Well, you can watch my 67 minute video from yesterday. 67 minute video of ranting. Yes. Pass. What? No. Put so much effort. Here you run 24 hours a day if I want to. What am I ranting about? If you said if I want to, I can make you. No. I can't make you run? No. Well, I can just ask you. What? I can just ask you. Yeah, but no, I'm not the guy for that. <laughs> okay, so if, if I make you run about D3 or D4 or whatever, and I say, tell me all the negative stuff about this and that. You, you won't say anything. I can't say negative stuff, but I'm, I'm not a you know, ranter, I guess. I didn't say you are a ranter. I said I can make you be. <laughs> you can try. Challenge accepted. You know, I'm always more the copium kind of guy. I know. Were you, no, you weren't listening yesterday, right? We were talking about... You are very unlike any other Germans, I know. Germans yeah. love to complain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we had a funny discussion. So, we were, I was trying to figure out, like, what would I do to min-max the chances of the survival of the human race? Min-max? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it was an interesting topic. Yeah. So, what, like, basically, if I was, you know, the human survival minister. Mm. I got you to watch with me the the appropriate TV series. Then, yeah, huh? exactly. Did you tell Chad that you're watching Battlestar Galactica? Yeah, I told him. There were not many reactions, but someone was like, BSG, Pog. <laughs> Best series of all time. Okay, and what did you say? Well... I think the two main threats that we have to overcome in the, like the next few decades are war, 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 yeah, and AI. I think those are really only two realistic scenarios that can lead to extension currently. What about some sickness? Yeah, no. We have way too many remote places and, you know, people hiding in whatever corner. Like, I'm talking about extinction, I'm talking about 99%. Extinction. Yeah. Yeah, I guess total extinction would be like hard. Yeah. Like that can only really happen if someone actively tries to do that, I think. 
And I think that also, once we get through the next few decades, there's also very low chance that humans could ever go extinct, at least in the near future. Because, you know, we're gonna be in, on different planets, on Mars, whatever, you know, once we have, like, self-sufficient colonies, I think there's, like, a low chance that this could happen anyway. So basically it's all about minimizing the chances in the next few decades, until this is kind of, like, settled. So that's basically what we were discussing yesterday, and I was trying to like figure out, okay, how we did this the smartest way possible. It was interesting. So what do you like most about Battlestar Galactica? Battlestar Galactica? Yeah. Oh, the setting is really cool. Do you guys know it? Battlestar Galactica is like some kind of old school sci-fi. That's uh, not that old school. It's after well, 2000. It's 20 years, huh? 2000 is uh, 24 years. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make it old school. Yeah, okay. Okay, have you seen the new school then? Have you seen anything from new school? The new school? Yes, you have. What is the most recent sci fi thing I watched? The I mean, scenario. Good luck finding. I mean, with movies, I've watched some, like, you know, Blade Runner or something. And... No, we're talking about a, a big, nice saga here. Not just something. Yeah, sci-fi sci sagas? Sci-fi series? I don't know. Yeah, but only the first season. I think like the second one. Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon? I've heard about it, but I don't know anything. It's still, I think it's still in that book. Yeah, I definitely want to watch some more sci-fi stuff. It's actually nice to watch, it's kind of like think about, you know, like the the world we live in and that we're gonna live in in the next few de decades. Because it's like rapidly changing everything. Foundation, what is that? Dark. Yeah, we watched Dark, but that was like, that's also like a few years ago already, no? Like two, three years ago. And it's also, Would it's not exactly sci-fi anyway. It is. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. Sci-fi is not only about space. Yeah, okay, but I mean, like futuristic stuff, I mean, you know, there's not really that much in there. I watched an interesting one a few years ago. It was called Dollhouse, and the concept was very, very interesting. Nothing to do with space. Um... It showed how they could load a, a whole different personality to someone. And yeah, I would just leave it at that. I find it interesting. Mm -hmm. Give it a look. Maybe. I mean, just. Oh. Start watching Dark this week. Dark is very good series. It was very fun. I watched Dark four times. What? Yeah. That's awesome. You were the fourth. I watched it with. And the only time I didn't make notes. Mm hmm. Yeah. The creators of Dark also made another series that got cancelled by Netflix, sadly. And I really was looking forward to watch it, but it's very discouraging that they can't do it. Playing as Shiki, what? The fallout, I can't see it, they say there. Not my glasses. The YouTube comments. Fallout show. No, I heard it's really good though. But I haven't played the games. I mean, I know the scenario roughly. Like, you know, it's like this post apocalyptic, whatever, right? So it sounds kind of fun, like a scenario. And apparently it's really good. Maybe you can watch that as well. Since we actually talked about, you know, war. As a possibility. Oh, 
That's one of my all-time favorite series too. Prince was like a more modern X Files. I definitely rewatch that. One hundred fifty with this build. Hell no. Should have done it last season. Wanna do 150 with meme builds? You have to wait for the next round of soul shards. In two years or something. No, I didn't watch Lost. But I heard it, was, it had a bad ending. I also made Woody watch another one with me, Life on Mars. That was good. Yeah, the British one. Not very sci-fi though. <laughs> no, but it has time travel. Yeah, it sounds very sci-fi, but it's not. But it's very good. I don't remember Prince's ending much. Which is a good thing, because I plan to, to watch it again. Guys, check out Dollhouse if you want. When was that made? Uh, after 2010. Is that wrong series? Uh, not very long. Two or three seasons, I think. Okay, I can I can tell you a bit more. Imagine like a, a new a new type. Let's not say brother exactly, but people go to this house and they sign up for some years of their life. They will earn they will earn a big amount of money by doing this, and they basically sign up to be a load of different types of personality depending on what the customer asks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not only about sex, it's about a lot of stuff. Like, for example, the widower could go there and ask for, you know, someone to have completely the personality of his wife and have a dinner with her or relive a moment with her or something. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. And yeah, well, it's more, more than what I described. And the protagonist was this, the the girl who was playing as uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Buffy. Akira? No, I've not heard of that. What is that? Yeah, I know nothing about anime. Besides Aya. It's from the altar. It's from the altar. I have Rock, Hacking Fury, and Crudus Boots in a cube. Non season build, guys. Outer range, good sci fi. Nope. I mean, personally, I don't really watch much. Nini has watched a lot of stuff, but I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> I try it a little bit. Sometimes. I don't know if I should feel offended now, the way you do. No, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just like, you know, I'm blasting so much, I, don't, I can't watch series all day. It's just how it is. Uh, 
been watching series for a decade. Yeah. Not watching that much. Even though, yeah, I have I have some phases where I can watch from day to night, I guess. <laughs> It's easy to digest this little series from Netflix. They are all like one season. You watch one per day. What? One season per day? Yeah, it's like usually six to eight episodes. Is there actually a chance to like watch everything? I guess they, cre they create stuff on Netflix faster than you can watch it, right? Like there, there's like more series coming to Netflix than you can watch them, right? You can't actually catch up and watch everything. I guess. I guess you can on the Google. Yeah, only the good ones. It's actually a lot of bad stuff. Medio mediocre. And some trash also. Like some stupid shows. Discount as a good German series. What is that about Aldi? I miss a good German series. Hmm. Are you reminiscent of Dark now? Yeah, what was the other thing you watched? There was another German one. The one of the... With the prisoner girl. That was not German, she claimed she no, was... No, it was a German series. She was, no. it, it played in Germany at least. That was America, and everyone was talking English. Yeah, but it, it, it was made in Germany. Like, it was uh, it was filmed in Germany. I think you confused it with the other that showed... Um, that place outside Munich where everyone was going for ski. Yeah, that's the other one as well. Yes, yeah, no, it's not that mental. Was the only uh, the only German we watched. The other girl with a, uh, the other one with a girl named Anna. She said she was German. No, that's not what I mean. I don't mean Anna. Which one? Don't remember the name. It was definitely a German series. Okay. Did you finish with the bowl? Yeah. Yeah, we've watched Dark, old new. Dark is pretty good. I like it. One sec. Right. Go back. He needs going now, guys.
Uh, I'm probably not gonna get to pushing today. I'll try to get my character ready. But we still have a bit of grinding to do here. Depends on our drop luck. Stay there actually. About ninety six percent. work? It does work. Okay, I think I accidentally spawned a door there. Instead of jumping over on the other side. Uh, the building is pinned there, by the way. This is the uh, pinned comment there. You know, monk. Okay, I think I have all of the gems pretty much level that we want. Just need to like up them a bit on the necro at some point. Simply strength. Tango is already 139, which is good. So it should be fast. Kind of sick actually with the uh, shield from the globes from the altar. I just walked into this molten pack and didn't actually lose my skirt until the pack was dead. And I kept it after. Kind of strong in some cases, even though it's like such a minor shield. Pretty impactful.
Can't wait for Inamonk and Diablo 4, guys. What are you guys say? Hello, cute guys only. How was the start of the week? How's the season been so far? Oh, very good. We had a very good start. We got the 50 on the Necro. Making the Monk right now. Found the orders on this already, so I have pretty good gear. Trying to get the final pieces. And then probably tomorrow we're going to do a bit of pushing here. Spillborn power crap to the moon are designed at a time before season 4. I mean, even if it was designed before season 4, it's easy to kind of like make it catch up, right? With a bunch of bumps and whatever. I mean, the expansion is also like a good opportunity to kind of like rebalance stuff a little bit as well, right? They can like generally, you know, nerf values across the board, you know, from items, from legendaries and whatever, and kind of like make stuff a bit more like streamlined. So, you know, there's going to be like some new systems probably as well coming in that, you know, give us extra power. We might get extra levels. They might rework with Paragons. There's a lot of stuff, basically, that's going to happen. But yeah, when in doubt, I guess it will launch rather OP instead of to the week. Usually, new stuff is better stuff. You know, this is the general, the general way of life, I guess, in ARPGs. So, I guess that applied also, like you know, to the new classes in Diablo two and Diablo three and whatever. So. Like Crusader also was like the first class to ever do a grade of ten or fifty, for example. Although that was kind of RNG, I guess. It was like years later after the interest in Crusader. But in general, like, you know, new stuff is good stuff, so... And to this day, we have the $20 club in Diablo 3, especially this season, with the Necromancer just being like the generally most powerful class in the game. Nah, I'm not doing any other. Got a pet of red scream. Yeah, we'll do Raymond, no matters. I have not actually played a new Raymond yet, so this is actually why I was planning to gear up for it. Season has solo self found. Spirit born everywhere. Yeah, it's likely that when a new class comes out, a lot of people will play it. But it's also actually like a not that crazy effect, I think. 
Like when our S launched, it didn't say Crusaders everywhere suddenly, uh, for example, and these kind of things. Like there was still be like a lot of people that was just like not enjoy the new class. They might try it out a little bit and then you know, be like whatever. A lot of people just have like their main class and this is what they stick to. But I guess in terms of content creation, there will be a probably a lot of stuff going on with Spiritborn. On the other hand, I mean expansion also means there's a lot of new shit for all classes. So you know, lots of stuff to cover everywhere. But obviously more on Spiritborn because. It will be all built on other classes that will not really change dramatically, I guess. And on Spirit Bone, everything is new. Oh, it's getting. Might want to make a quick bro away monk for the Raymond push. Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> I mean, if my Raymond Monk rips, I'm gonna lose my Shenlongs that I need for POJ. I'm gonna lose my gems. I'm gonna lose my follower. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I'm gonna lose my Guardian that I need for the POJ as well. So let's just say we don't die. How about that? Uh, luckily, I'm not playing in uh, Borsa build actually. I mean, right now I do, but not for the push, so I don't have to do like an augmented follower bullshit. So that's nice. Spiritborn is the new class coming to uh, the Diablo expansion. Before. We don't know anything about it really. When did I get announced? Ah, uh, five months ago. Okay, do we need any other gems? Not really, I think. So let's just level this here yeah, back up. Is it possible to keep all skills for our life while pushing without patch them? Not really. And the only build I can maybe somewhat do this is like a frenzy barb because he has like these insane party buffs. With Warcry and into like Invigorating. What's it called? Invigorating Fury? The, the percent heal. But even then, it's pretty unlikely. Like, maybe if you're playing this build and you're actually doing time attack and you have like a completely beefed up follower and you don't actually make big pulls, so you just gotta go in and destroy stuff all the way to 150 and you clear it in 5 minutes. Yeah, you might get into territory where that could work. But yeah, realistically, not really, so... Like, I've tried it like two, three times, and it never worked for me, so... And this was with some really beefed up followers. I mean, like, speed jars like this here, it's definitely perfectly doable to uh, have a follower that lives is actually what we have like as a template in the uh, Maxwell guides as well for speech GR follower. It's usually in all skills enchantress because yeah, if you give her some good stuff, she can live here yeah, in like hundreds, hundred tens, hundred twenties. Like if you found them in two minutes, there's not much risk for a follower. And even if the follower dies, it's not such a big deal. It's 
six season starting stock definitely going with spirit born in season seven <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I do hope that Spirit Point is going to be mostly a ranged class. Because they have a lot of melee stuff in uh, Diablo 4 right now. Like, even though like, most of the ranged rogue builds are actually more like melee builds. And stuff like that. And even, like, Sork has a bunch of, like, melee playstyles. I don't know, I'm not gonna see some vocal. You only stay in Kyova shot, and obviously nobody likes the open world. Okay. I mean, it's always Diablo 3 for you, you guys only. I like the world, yeah. Last season. Well, it's mostly Necromancer season. And yeah, for a lot of builds, it just kind of feels like non season. But uh, well, it has this open cube thing, which a lot of people liked back in the day at least. Yo, Shibilisk. Thanks for buying, man. I want to push uh, POJ and Raymond. Am I? This is what I know right now, not a mess. Nah, uh, Earth Ally is, I think, completely dead actually. Like, they added the um, Fire Ally gain extra bonus on the braces again. Because we kept insisting, like, guys, don't try to fix the fucking Earth Allies. Just, you know, remove Earth Allies, make it fire again. That was fun. And well, they did, so there you go. If you want to push Inna, it's Fire Ally again. And sort of this shitty Earth. It was basically the same playstyle, just Earth Ally was extremely frustrating on top of it. So. Now we play Fire again if you want to push in Inna. You can actually farm with it as well. If you like the old, like, you know, Fire Inna farming build from Season 24 or Season 25, just weaker, but still exists technically. A bit worse in the water, but not much. Yeah, these earth allies are really dumb. I mean, they look funny and stuff, but you mostly get frustrated. <laughs>
new class of the airfares reverse pilot drains the sta stats of other players to empower himself by using inverted auras that are based on his disheartening dry realistic picture of the world <laughs> sounds like me actually Funny concept. <laughs> Sounds like a class of group play. This is the support character that we wanted. <laughs> Uh, that is correct, QS guys only. Like, most co rogue builds on call points do exactly that. They do like 1, 2, 3, and then release and repeat. It's like very rhythmic playstyle, basically. The Woody. I think that should be a boss. How about that? Like the, the deaf a voice line. Halt. <laughs> you prefer the armor frame? Uh, just for a season start. You go full risk. On SF non hardcore season start, what do you roughly think is a theoretically fastest time to 150? Current patch without season theme. Current patch without season theme. Well, uh, without season theme, it would take a bit. Because, like, the first build that can do it is probably like 2.5k, 3k paragons or so, I guess. Like, Nova Necro probably would be. What we're looking at. Uh, yeah, something like that, I guess. 2k ish. Can probably do it. Maybe even earlier. But yeah, we definitely have to grind up pretty decent gear, get a good Guardian set going. I mean, we, we did 150. Wait, how much time was that actually? In season 29 of the Paragon Cap, I did the 150 of Nova. But that was really long, I remember. They did do that in one or in two streams. It was like over 30 hours, I believe. 30 something. It was pretty long because I had to grind like really good gear and it was a kind of a long push. It was like a 12 hour push or some shit. Like going from like, I don't know what, 140 to 150. But yeah, I guess around 2k Paragons or so, no season theme. And it would probably take like, you know, four days, I'd say, from season start. Maybe less. Two, three days. And we had the power cap at 800. But we had the 200% uh, area damage in Season 29, which was pretty strong. Or like, yeah, it was 200 area damage. So I got 150 more area damage than normal. And with Guardian set, either having 800 Paragon or having 2k Paragon is not the craziest difference. So the area damage definitely wins there. Is Neko on top of every tier list? Don't ask me. I just made the tier list. I didn't make the game.
bit curious now. Vigil, Season 29, go to channel 50. Wizard rank 1. Yeah, world first, this one. 40 hours, 19 minutes. I was pretty long, but I'm not sure if I did it in one stream or not. I was really long. Did I do it in one stream? Maybe, actually. Oh! There is a... Did he spawn Tephris to me at a power there? How close was it actually? Not even too close in the end. Like a minute left. 120. Yeah, that was rough though. 40 hours. Build fun wise, that's multi shot and LOD fan of knives. Man, is there like any season thing that would benefit like LOD fan of knives somehow? A lot, I wonder. Not really, right? Not more than other Demon Hunter builds. Demon Hunter just kind of like lacks some crazy stuff. Uh, you mage now. I'm returning to town. Difficulty 100 changes only XP. Uh, not exactly, but almost. At 90 is so called loot cap, you don't get more items. And almost everything is legendary or set, as you can see here. There's no rares or something. Well, okay, I guess whatever rares drops is salvaged by the pet. But they get almost the maximum of loot. There's like slightly more magic find basically later, but that's it. And uh, you get like, I think, three blood shards more per tier. See how the cooldown raises resource feels.
91 isn't even 400 shards, exactly. Maybe I should farm 91s. Wouldn't really matter much, I guess, for my times. Let's see. I got 397, you're right. I'll consider that. Sounds fun, Rob. Ninety one, you say? Let's see. So I can do exactly five runs and gamble. I mean, I can do that anyway, I guess. Yeah, with or well, without uh, exactly 400 shards, but I guess it's like a nice round number. Oh, iron. Thank you for the 40 mouse. Is Inna the fastest speed there is? Yes, that's... That's the fastest build in the game. I mean, okay. Uh, I'll be getting ranks again. Because <laughs> it's doing 91 now. I mean, Gold Team Hunter and Uin Team Hunter in like, a really like perfect rift can clear it faster, but on average, this is faster. To the resource ring here. Feels more smooth and cool down. Guess I'm just another pet. I mean, glorious, no? It would actually be nice to have enchanters on this build. Like, all skills enchanters would be kind of comfy with the 10% cooldown and 10% damage, bit of attack speed and stuff. Not a scream. Two screams, actually.
Uh, found some stuff today, yes. We're getting there. I'm still missing Shenong's squirts. Uh, some other small stuff. And then we have to make primals. So right now I'm also looking for some just primal drops so I can make primals. We have a lot of the petrified screams now. We have 17. That's looking good. If I reach like 20, 22, I should be in a good spot there. Nini crafted a uh, Travelers for me earlier. That was nice. So I'm gonna use that on Raymond. Need to check, but I think I have a good compass rose. So I found primers is visions. Yeah, of course, you get by far the most of the visions. Uh, pretty OP. Congress of Volko X Gateway. It's a nice one. Very epic song. Volko well, X has a bunch of like really good stuff. Never played it pre after launch, going lost. Good luck. <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff they added over time. I'm getting the screams. I dropped 5% in Greater Rifts. So I have to farm. This is mostly why I'm farming Greater Rifts right now. To up the uh, up my screen screen count because I want to augment POJ and Raymond, so I need something like twenty something screens for that. I guess twenty two or so would be a good number. I'm at seventeen now. Should have enough normal gems. I'm not sure, but I have a few other rings. I'm just gonna random, I guess. So I'm on the safe side. She's like stuck in the wall. Alright, she's good as. Your 
Well, I, I hope for, uh, for the best. Hope we're gonna be fine. Be careful. To be honest, I'm not quite in the mood for World War 3 right now. Yeah, she's good as a summary, sorry, and there's a lot of shit going on right now. Yeah, guys, chill out a bit. Twitch that is not really the place anyway for <laughs> these kind of topics like this. As I said, I just hope we're gonna be fine. Try to stay safe, cheese kiddies. Some random questions. What's my opinion on KFC? Uh, I don't really have any to be honest. I've never really gone to KFC like once or twice, maybe. So that was a long time ago. I don't really care. But they did a collab with Diablo 4, so there's that. that 
My prime account, uh, it's not very high. Maybe 15 now or something. And he free players, but geopolitical experts on his side. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, this whole, like, you know, uh, Middle East topic is very complicated. I was, like, up to date, like, you know, a decade ago or so when I was doing my studies. But I'm also not really 100% sure about everything that's going on these days there, so... It's just kind of a mess. Nowadays, if it looks like a shit mobile game, uh, I think it's more like that the shit mobile games look like the free these days. That's more of an advancement of the mobile game technology than a regression of the free. Next I'll be opening a branch for no rest of the wicket. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, that will be kind of the time right now to do it. And as far as I know, that is not coming. At least not now. Maybe in the future, maybe if it goes well or something. I don't know. I mean, you have to see if the game is actually you know, really worth the hype or whatever. I've not really heard many people talking about it. I had like, some people here and there ask me, like, are you going to play it and stuff? And yeah, I mean, I'm going to try it out, but... I mean, who knows how the game's gonna go and stuff, so... I definitely won't be working on Nowhere to the Wicked, I'm busy enough with Diablo. I'll try out the game though. Maybe I'll release a few videos if I like the game and who knows what, what I can actually share there. I just have no idea about the game. I guess there's like a few, few content creators that have played it already, maybe they have made some kind of guides or whatever. Or well, no rest for the wicket. <laughs> it's not even TFI time yet. Oh uh, yeah, Friday, no, Saturday, right? Saturday will be fun. <laughs> Chris Bull, Fairy Pog. Sitting there with the popcorn. You look like you could use it, don't forget. Luck always changes. That ability is not yet to be charged. Okay, we have done almost fifty keys now. Not how big nowadays new release Pokemon games look like shit mobile games from 2020. <laughs> I mean, just look at um, Diablo Immortal. Like, for all the shit that Diablo Immortal got, it actually looks extremely good. And without the Pay to Win, it's actually a pretty decent game, too, I think. It's just the Pay to Win that kind of ruined it. Like, imagine they had released the album Immortal, but without pay-to-win. 
Imagine like how much praise Blizzard would have gotten for that. They would have like probably changed the entire mobile game market forever after that. Because they would have just raised the bar so fucking much for what a good mobile game is. It's kind of a sad story, man. And they came out with their first mobile game title really, right? And could have like straight up made history, kind of. Well, <laughs> they did make history here, <laughs> to some degree, <laughs> but you know. Hey, the win brings more money. Yeah, but I mean, you know, Blizzard is also like a company that relies a lot on its reputation and its fame. And, you know, they, you know, basically they have to decide, okay, do they want to earn more money in the short term or do they want to earn more money in the long term, right? Like, if they had done that, what I just explained, they maybe would have earned even more in the long term because they would have just gotten such a much better reputation as a company, right? Especially after, like, you know, shitty stuff that had happened around that time with, like, all this, like, sexual harassment bullshit. Three is better than the four, way better. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure that like, you know, the 5% of the out of force player base that actually plays the three agrees with you. The shareholders don't care much about reputation. Yeah, I mean, the shareholders care mostly about money, I suppose. At least that's the assumption, right? But then again, you know, we're talking about, you know, fame and reputation for Blizzard equals long-term gains. So, you know, like over, let's say, the next decade or something, like always having this legacy of having created Diablo Immortal, the greatest mobile game of all time, without pay to win, transforming the mobile market forever. You know, that, that definitely carries some weight when you when you listen to it. And who knows what would have happened, you know, as a result of that. And they would think, okay, yeah, it was it was Blizzard that did that, you know? Imagine the amount of goodwill they would have earned and how many more sales they would have gotten in other games as a result. Now would that outweigh the pay to win money they got from the Marvel model? I don't know. Maybe. Thanks, Bobby. I must wait to use that ability. Hey, gamer dads of twelve jobs in the Diablo game too. <laughs> Diablo Immortal for the win. I don't know, is it a game for gamer dads? Well, I mean, it's a mobile game, but on the other hand, it has like these like MMO elements of like, you know, you have to be there at exactly this time of the day to do this thing, and then you have to be there at exactly at this time on a Saturday to do that thing. It's not very gamer dad friendly, I guess. But I guess with like all these like, you know, grind caps in the game and all that stuff, and yeah, I, I guess it, it is somewhat gamer dad friendly. I 
main thing to remember is mobile gaming industry is massive. Just because the model wasn't catered for mainstream gamers doesn't mean it wasn't exactly the mobile industry once. Pay to win, gotcha, shit is the entire industry standard. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like they cater to the industry standard, yeah. They they made a really good game for mobile games. You know, the quality of the game is undeniable. And uh yeah, then you have like this pay to win stuff, and I guess for mobile games, it's just like what people are used to. And the question is, would they have actually changed the course of history here? And maybe it could have, you know, to some degree at least. It wouldn't be just the album. I mean, the album mode is still like, you know, a, just one genre of games, right? Like MMO, ARPG. Like, not M1 plays that. But they would have set a, a huge example, I guess, for the rest of the industry. To finally slowly get rid of the, all that gacha pay to win bullshit. Like, I think that mobile games just have kind of like slowly evolved into this. Or well, let's say devolved. And somehow they got away with it. But I mean, is this what people actually want? I think it's more like they kind of got away with it and that's it. Yeah, one is always saying like how big the mobile game market is. But how much of these 248 billion US dollars of revenue from the mobile gaming market is purely gacha pay to win and, you know, not any other purchases. And the other question is, does that actually generate any other value for like the consumer? Like does that money actually transform into better games. I guess to some degree, because they need to fund the development somehow, but does it actually make the overall game experience better? The answer is most likely not even yes. There's of Justice set to focus on the Tempest Rush build. Oh, guys. Should probably be a COE plus Zodiac plus maybe a Granger combo, I think. If they didn't have to cut in the app store for so much, there would be less pay to win. But uh, aren't they, aren't the mobile game publishers also paying for the in-game purchases to like the app stores? Like, how does it work actually? Or do the app stores only earn if like people pay for an app? And this is why a lot of mobile games are free, so they go around the fees, and then just have like in-app purchases that don't actually go to the the app store. I know there's like pretty huge cuts for whatever reason. Both, okay. Yeah, in that case, I guess it doesn't matter whatever in your stream rated. It's actually crazy that like Apple, for example, takes 30% of the cuts. Like, just for having the store. What the hell, dude? 30%, man. And then you pay tax on that as well. That is a business, not that much in most countries, but I guess.
gonna be the one that sells the shovels. <laughs> Not bad. You take 30% of Spotify's sub bought in the app. What the hell, dude? Like, some of this stuff seems like really. Like, it doesn't make any sense. First time I earned money, I was shocked how much the government takes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, welcome to another life. I mean, the thing is that those taxes usually also, you know, if you pay high taxes, people are moaning, oh, taxes, but, you know, you also get, also get something back for it, right? Like, if you're talking about Germany, for example, Germany has very high taxes, but, I mean, you also get a lot of it back, you know, in terms of, like, just, like, public services, you know, good infrastructure and, you know, schools, whatever, you know, someone has to pay for that, and this is where taxes go. So, on that end, yeah, like, I can see it here in Bulgaria, things work a bit differently. <laughs> For example, because they don't pay very high taxes, and you can notice it. In Brazil, taxes are high and the service is really bad. Yeah, I mean, this is like a government problem, I guess. In Brazil, I think Brazil also has a lot of corruption and stuff, right? So that's like another problem. So obviously, high taxes doesn't guarantee that you have good public services. Not necessarily everything is going to be good either. to Brazil, yep. And then what? Lives are hard there. Too much corruption. <laughs> Oof. I mean, Brazil sounds like a nice country to go visit, but I'm not sure if I really want to live there. I have not been to South America yet. At some point, I guess I will go there and, and see a bit.
Primal Dawn and Life Satchel with Recipe for God. Or whatever you need, I guess. If you don't have a good weapon, then do the weapon, I guess. Okay, I guess you can probably shortcut the uh, Petrified Screen Grind a little bit here. If we uh, just level our uh, three gems a little bit higher with the Necro. to Nako. Away to 150. This monk will not go to 150. But we're gonna push as soonish. Finishing the last items and augments. Parallax girl sounds rough. And now what? Like that, like that dance of the dead. With the emerald. <laughs> looks so good. Okay, I guess you're gonna finish this. Uh, what is this? Simplicity strength here? It's space Dragon. It's like level 55. Let's get it to 90. And I think then we're gonna switch to Necro and start leveling a bunch of gems. And then we'll see what's left to do. Tomorrow is going to be a nice push day.
Uh, it's never better to go play another class. It's just to gear another class. I think the only case where something like that makes any kind of sense is if you are completely done gearing your main class, like in Necro. And you're stuck pushing and you want to do like a really big push, like, you know, a thousand keys. Then you can maybe make a monk to farm keys. Uh, that's about the extent of what it's worth doing. Like, it's never worth to start a monk to then play an echo later. That's just bullshit. I know I can stream on YouTube with 1440p. Yeah, I know that. Doesn't make much sense though when my game is in 1080p. I do have a video on Greater Rifts, and I also have like a really long Greater Rift Pushing Guide on Maxwell. There's a post about it that I wrote a long time ago. Well, that's not a video, but the video might be in that guide somewhere as well. Bigger differences between Don Nova and Tragul. That's like one or two GRs, not too much, but LOD wins a bit. This season, at least, LOD gains a bit more.
has time. It is not ready yet. The Rift Guardian is here. We actually have pants for the minute. We have PRJ pants. And I guess those are okay as well. Chest. Let's go. I didn't even know I had that thing. What? I didn't even know I had that too expensive. I cannot do that. I win. How's the helmet? Uh, helmet doesn't matter right now. You're gonna craft a guardian helm. Actually, have to do that. Should do it and see how hard it will be. God, crafting guardian helm is kind of rough. It always comes with movement speed and you want to roll off movement speed. So you want dex with socket crit. Now for Raymond, we don't need anything skill related there. And on POJ, we're gonna have Taeguk. So I think we're actually gonna be fine as well. Having Vitality on the helm. Some excess survivability. Any helmets are the worst, yes. But I kinda have to do it. I don't have I don't think I have a way around Guardian Helmet. Two runs or so.
think this season cube beam is not as powerful as the previous of stones. Let me check. I think you're right. Thirty percent, I guess. I mean, it could go a bit up with this build and go fast and level the gems a bit further. I guess it can go like you know one by one until hundred or something before I go in necro. Nah, let's just go in necro. Fuck it. Not worth Ori first. Now we have to play another class to gear up for something else. I mean, you can do something like what I'm doing now. Like, I go on the necro to level the gems a bit. But that's about the extent of what is worth doing. I'm not in one. Don't have an argument for this. It's fine. Ah, uh, actually, we can just do one real quick and get the orc. I'm just gonna change it to teeth. It's fine. Teeth. Blood rush. Let's go check all. I mean, trap doesn't actually work in like a nightmare. I think. And even soft CCs cannot be applied, right? They don't even get trapped. They don't get crispin. They get nothing. Well. We're going in.
Didn't take 20 seconds. This isn't the monk. Lol. That is correct, actually. that monk with two minions. My god. I should definitely try this on inner monk actually. I think like these first waves gonna be so much faster and then later I can just carry the rest with the uh bond here. It's fine. This is so fucking slow on an echo man. That's the downside of not playing a Demon Hunter season, man. Marauder. Put four sentries. Boom, you're done here in one minute. Nope. This one has like four minutes. I'm surprised to see my stream saying Monk. And I just played 5 hours of Monk, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of done with the GR grind on a Monk right now. I want to boost some gems. And then we're gonna finish whatever gear is left on the Monk. Either to later tonight or tomorrow. Start a push tomorrow. Yeah, like this season you can play uh, Patterns of Justice with Shenlong, and I like that build. So I wanted to try that. Also, I haven't played uh, a reworked Raymond yet with the uh, triple generators. I wanted to try that as well. I guess we just level. Uh, we just roll the. Uh, Quick chance to 10 here, right? On the last time. Has the essence, has 15 bone spear. Let's do it. Just two crits for frame. I prefer that over rolling off the uh, vitality. I'm not gonna have enough paragons to roll off the vitality. Oh, that was easy. We have still some royal. I'm feeling tired when using scroll, scroll wheel. No. Okay, huge augment. Alright, Blood Marrow, Nair, anything else we change here actually? Blood Flask, this, this, no, this is fine. Uh, actually, Granger. Stewards. Okay, the gems are like 100 and... No, uh, they're 92. So let's do like 102. It's a bit low. Should probably just start at like 110, but whatever. Oh, 
So Aura of Frailty. I'm running a Leech Blood Flask. It's the only Leech Rune that does something. It's actually does something really good. I've been using it a lot this season actually. It's really good with this build. I even mentioned it in the uh, Masquerade Guide now. Ah, oh, by the way, hello, bottom. My pattern. A bit early. Oh, you're not going to sleep yet. <laughs> Let's go. How to get streams? Well, just get lucky, I guess. I mean, it's 5% drop rate in Gutter Rifts. So, on average, every 20 runs, if you do the runs very fast, like I did on a monk, you know, one minute runs, you can do like 35 GRs per hour or something. Then, yeah, I mean, that's like almost two screens per hour. If you do it slower, like two minute runs, and then you're still looking at like one screen per hour if you do like 20 runs an hour. With a bit of downtime. That's just how it is. Like for me, it worked out pretty well, though. Like, I was. Getting my normal gems and my screams at pretty much the same rate. Like, I was completely out of augment gems and normal gems at the same time when I augmented my character. So I also have to... don't forget that you need to grind those normal gems. You have 1300, you only got 5 this season. Yeah, it sounds like you were doing a lot of, like, higher tiers. Like, the only thing that matters is, like, how many runs you do, not how high. It's 5% flat percent, like, drop rate. No matter what. If you only farm like, you know, 8 minute clears or something, then yeah, you're not gonna get much in terms of pretty fat screams. I'm going to work at 5 a.m. Okay, good night, Pelham.
not new gifts. There's no special way to farm them. Just get more loot. Which means visions, I guess. Can you keep your instant eye of dark reaping? It's pretty effective. Speed runs, it's very good. I got a lightning scourge or a necro, what? Rainbow Portrait. I think it's not that hard to farm. If you have the stuff and you open it, I have no idea what's the chance. But you can just go do it over and over. I don't know, maybe it's like 1%. You just run it for like an hour or two and you probably got it or so. I'm not sure exactly. But compared to the wings, it's pretty easy. Vision are those blue portals? Pop? Yeah, those are visions. The blue portals are called visions of enmity.
Thanks, Ma. I'll have you in, by the way. Best team in the build is Natalia. I'm not sure if there's any season where that changes. I guess in the Sanctified season when it comes back, Impale might be better. And I'm not sure about the... Uh, hmm. The Feral season. That could be interesting actually with Natalia as well. That might actually also benefit another build more than Natalia. Because they can probably not run that Burritza. You have to go with the one-handed and... Not sure how good that one was. I think no build actually used it. All good. That's good here. Where's that guy? Ah, true. When you have sanctified, that might actually work. If you have sanctified items, you can sanctify a puzzle ring and then you sacrifice it for the altar. <laughs> That's a good idea. That should work. At least I remember you could uh, put them in a cube to open the ancient puzzle ring. That was pretty good. The age is faster for Solar XP than LD Nova. No. XP wise, I think Nova wins. You can just go so many higher tiers. Like, what can Gordy Age farm fast? 105, maybe 110. Like, what well, can I think go higher and not be really much slower? Like Nova, you can probably end up doing something like 3 minutes, 120 plus. Shot. Cube marks, thank you, man. Yeah, fifteen hundred, you're right. Didn't pay attention. Best glass this season. I like this one a lot here. Gives me a lot of water usually. 
Otherwise, if you'd like to pro roll, hashtag sponsored, we have GMG glasses. We have a good blue light filter to uh, protect your eyes when you're sitting in front of the screen a lot. It helps a lot to like, you know, rest at night. I like to put them on sometimes when it's late so I can sleep more easily. It actually works. Oracle 9, thank you for the uh, three months. Dragon Class. Mm -hmm. That's also pretty good. If you want to protect against the undead, very uh, impactful. And Monka Christ is just not enough. How big of a power gap is there between Dragoon and Blood? It's not very big. This season, LD wins by a little margin. Maybe one or two GRs. Like the thing is that LD is just a bit tankier and also does a bit more damage. Because usually Targul wins slightly, I think. No, actually Targul is, I think, usually still a bit behind LD. But also Targul can't run Guardian or Orgos this season. Because they have to go all the weapons in the cube, you no know, rogue and stuff. So you basically like an LD build, you don't need to have like any other special stuff. And LD just has a bigger multiplier and some other small perks like Blackthorn's Pants. Let's get Esoteric here. Uh, let's get the Powerful 200 as well, I'll be at it. Right now you're on Guardian, Equip Rock at low Paragon. Yeah, I think that's a mistake, but at least it makes it easy to survive. I definitely wouldn't do that though. That's just like giving up too much power. I should try to find a way to survive without Guardians. Like, you know, try to roll more vitality, get an Isotag alteration in there instead of a Zayz or something. Like, that alone already gives you a lot of toughness. As long as you have enough, like, damage reduction from physical or melee damage reduction or something. You can just live with Esoteric. Giving up the Zayz is not a huge loss compared to a third weapon in a cube. But yeah, in this case, LOD just pulls ahead even earlier, I guess. I was kind of expecting that people would run Tragul more early season. It would be like tanky enough, but if people do something like Guardians... Then LOD just wins anyway, even without crazy gear. Because LOD is tanky enough to live with three weapons in the cube. And no crazy shenanigans. Best class after Necro. Uh, probably Wizard. Wizard and Monk are somewhat close of some builds. 
are somewhat close, being you know, only 10 tiers behind. Starasha back? Hell no. Wanna play Meteor or you should do LOD? Dinner dann. Ja, Tarasha will never come back. Also Meta Builds. LOD ist just stronger on Meteor. Stragoos instead of Nyers on Teeth. Or in T16, like Akin Fury, I think. I just put Akin Fury there in T16, which is nice too. So much fast. Um, I'm pressing buttons on my keyboard. Here's a guide. <laughs> the free buff needs to dust devils. Oh man. Yeah, Bowman used to be played with dust devils. And then I think people used like pain enhancer to apply the dot everywhere and the game was like all mega laggy with that build. It was really bad. It was like one of the laggiest builds ever in this game. You had to press like escape all the time, like every second you have to press escape, wait three seconds and then unpause one second later, pause, wait three seconds. This was the way to play. I like pushed up build. That's complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, season 31 started last Friday.
Best way I found Primus is Visions. I'm blood rush over to the other side there. Just try it twice. Let me try it again. And this. No, it doesn't let me. Would be cool if they made something like Visions in the 4. Yeah, if it was like really rare, maybe. You know, like occasionally there's like this special elite and you kill it and it pops out like a portal and you go in and there's like some cool stuff you can get. Yeah, sure, why not, right? This could be like some fun open world thing that you find sometimes or something. Maybe you can bring back the vaults. Unless you find like a constructor coming out of the sand, you kill it, and it opens a portal to the vault. You go through the traps and get some big blue chests. Place the basements of visions. I think you said us are okay. Might primal. Oh shit, how many greater affixes does it have?
Did I call it a T in Trillion? Uh, I'm not sure when I did that, actually. I don't think this was there from the start, no. Yeah, no, and uh, <laughs> orange points are greater affixes. No, that's not what they are. I was just joking. The orange dots on items, like here, the, the golden pickup radius. This means it's a stat that is not reflected in either damage, toughness, or recovery. That's what it means. Like, golden pickup radius, you know, doesn't have any impact there, or, you know, skill specific stuff, like here, the bone spear. Like, okay, it's rerolled now, but. Maybe that's another example. He has Bone Spear. It's also reflected in the damage, for example. He's not a lost time, actually. Kind of usable. Keep getting those. But it doesn't come close to the one I have. Sheet damage trap is legendary. I mean, it's always the case. Sheet damage like doesn't really tell you much in RPGs. Too many conditional effects and these kind of things. But yeah, I'm, I guess the, the difference between sheet damage and actual damage is probably the greatest in this game, which is not surprising since it has the biggest numbers as well. Step gear coming in hot. Oh man. I was hoping this day wouldn't come. But I guess. Island map. What do you mean? At this point in the game, how do you get stronger? Oh, I see this blue number. You keep grinding. That's best good. I mean, there's like slight gear improvements and stuff. But I don't think that would account for more than like maybe one GR in total. After like the first like, I don't know, 20 hours or so of blasting. There's not really that much more gear I can get. This is why D3 kind of sucks to play for high end blasters, because Paragon rules everything. And they've never fixed that.
The pylon appeared in front of us. Watch. I shot myself. The bone spear. I wanna watch that actually. Seasons over once I hit 20k Paragon. Happy grind. <laughs> yeah, what is the highest? I'm not sure what is the record. I think 13,000, 14,000, I think, happened in one season. They had like a really long. Was that season 28 actually? That was so long. Yeah, and season 28 was also like one of the craziest, right? With the altar and then the full release and stuff. Was that the, one of the longest where people reached like 14,000 or something? Which is like, I don't know. Around halfway or so, maybe? <laughs> it's quite dangerously close, actually. Uh, it's probably less than halfway, but maybe a third. Yeah, of course, that's a botting. But uh, even so, you know, it's crazy. Like, this entire chat together might not even reach 14k. <laughs> on non season, so. So we have some really big blasters around here. Yeah, sure, that guy last season, as if hardcore isn't legit. 6k. Yeah, unlikely. I don't think that's really... Like, I think even the typical, like, tryhards are not really grinding the game that hard anymore. Like, if you see someone 6k, then it's almost guaranteed someone who just bots at this point, I'd say. I mean, it could be that there's, like, some no life still grinding hard, you know, somewhere in, this, in the basement. But I think the chances are pretty low that those are legit. So watch this real quick. So here, there was a, the power pine appearing when I jumped in. I think on the top right on the room. Yeah. See? <laughs> Looks funny. You can actually see it here. Kind of interesting, it was very slow. What did I do right before? I just walked out of the room. Nothing special, I just walked towards it. For some reason it was very slow at spawning, you see? Final spawn in action. Okay, let's see the spinner one shotting me. Was it wait, was it a molten explosion? Or was it me one shotting myself? No, it wasn't a molten. Didn't go off yet, I was one near really in slow motion. Yeah. Can't see though. So it's the first time I actually one shot myself with the bone spear. I was kind of waiting for that because I wasn't really sure if it's still possible, but it is. 
DJ or Inas for GR speeds. Uh, I'm fine with Inas because I just want to gear up as fast as possible. But PRJ would probably be the way for XP. Or well, with lights still. In the high paragon bot grinders getting banned. Uh, occasionally, yeah. Actually, there was a ban wave at the end of last season. So yeah, sometimes they get banned. But not everyone gets banned, always. Unreal. Rafa Necro. <laughs> oh, when you're having fun on non season. I imagine it on season, man. It could be so much more powerful. I'm getting chests for no reason. It's not the monk. Not twenty. On Reddit post saying that the same team that Blizzard who made season 2 made season 4 is so hyped. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that it hypes you up, but it doesn't mean, mean anything. They literally made one season that people liked, and that season has since become eternal content in the form of Helltide in season 4. So, uh, what does that tell us?
I haven't played Diablo since release. In that case, it wouldn't hurt to just like, get back into the game a little bit before Season 4. So you like learn, you know, most of the uh, basics again. A lot of stuff has changed since release. And then, you, you know, comes a big patch in Season 4 and you can really enjoy. I mean, there's not much going on in Season 3 anymore. People are just waiting. It will be a good des testing grounds, I'd say. myself again. Like you could use it. Don't forget, luck always changes. Any sword and bone spikes damage, huh? But it's, I guess, somewhat usable. I don't get anything else. And I probably will not actually. Uh, the pick sticker just squeals, that's it. I mean, it has five primaries and also two good secondaries, but that's it.
I haven't played the game in 10 years. Is Steamer Hunter still OP? Oh boy. So what is the last thing you remember, by the way? <laughs> Alright, luckily in the last 10 years I created a nice little site called Max Roll. You should check it out. Season 1 was 10 years ago. Almost, yeah. Nine and a half. Nine and a half since yes, woo, guys. No, stands up. Mercenary doesn't matter. Hello, Bezzy. This is Hawkeye. Yeah?
I got any. How's it going? That's all the damage numbers, and it is in the gameplay settings. Can abbreviate the numbers or something. Where's my damage? What's going on here? Wait, where's my sims? My sim was here, like, three screens back, what the hell? People aren't too strong. What happened to Diablo 4? Uh, well, you, you know the series, flash forward. Like we got like a glimpse of the future. And now no one wants to play the game anymore. We have seen what's coming. Super awesome, let's hear it. What did you miss? Um, Diablo 4 2.0 is coming in four weeks. much matter to hold now to be used in eternal realm well veil crystals i guess other than that nothing really just salvage all the yellows that you can now But realistically, I mean, Eternal Realm is going to be really dead next season. Because all of your gear, besides like some chests and pants, are going to be completely worthless. So... I wonder what happens to Uniques. Maybe... Yeah, even Uniques will probably be uh, legacy gear, so you can't even master work those, I guess. Oh shit. Excellent, didn't increase the TM. Because I made a mistake by capping the Paragon E4. I really want to time you out right now. These skitters is right, oh man. Paragon and Joyous and Chance, holy.
Not changed since launch? 44. Oh, that's a pretty long list of stuff. No, oh, animation got convicted revamps. Or season 4. Let's start with that. All the stats are different. You can craft, you can masterwork items, upgrade items. Uh, lots of builds, lots of uniques. We have bosses now. That we can farm. Open world content is actually somewhat relevant. Season themes have been introduced. Seasonal content. Uh, offensive stats have been completely reworked. Resistances have been completely reworked. Hardcore is hardcore. I'm gonna carry, by the way. What's the best rogue build on Eternal Realm? Uh, Pen RF is like generally the best, I'd say, right now in Season 3. But rogue is a relatively balanced class. So you don't have to play that. If you want to play in a similar range play style that's a bit simpler, you can play Barrage. It's, you know, most of the same synergy, so you can easily stop that from Panareth if you don't like Panareth. That's just simpler. Ranged Rogue is the meta right now in overall, but the meta builds also kind of work. Bones be a monk. <laughs> hey, okay. Nah, I'm just getting my gems higher a little bit. I was farming on a monk for the entire day. I'm gonna shortcut my petrified screen grind a little bit by just augmenting normal gems a little bit. But I wanna get him to under 25 as well. And also need to level my simplicity. Got to Raymond. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Raymond. I haven't done the uh, new Raymond yet since they reworked it. Does anyone get any toughness now? Hell no. Of course not. So it's just... I mean... Yeah, I might play it without Trapped and just go with Esoteric instead of Trapped. We'll see. If it feels too squishy, I'll do that. Marvin. Thank you, man. Uh, plan on anything else? Uh, I'm not planning to do a third character, but we'll see. If I do a third character, it'll probably be a satyr. Satyr's also pretty fast to gear. I can probably do that in like 10-15 hours and then go push.
I mean, okay, Raymond are gonna have Guardian and Spur Guards. I think it won't be that bad with the toughness. Copium. <laughs> yeah, if it's really bad, I'm gonna go Esoteric. That's usually the solution. But resources management should be way easier these days on Raymond as well, because you have a uh, Spirit on crit from the altar. And you also spend weightless resources from dashing around. So it should be kind of okay with the Shenlong uptime, I think. Even if I don't go all in on attack speed. So I could go like dodge, dashing strike and these kind of things. I still need to try to get the attack speed where I can. We're only giving up the Witching Hour, which is kind of bad. Do we actually run with uh, COE in that build? I just wonder. Or do we just do like one hit of each generator and then just attack with our main, I guess? Because we have like extra additive and extra fire damage. I think the COE shenanigans is not really working out necessarily that well on no Paragon. Yeah, and Frenzy and Protection, true. Although this might take a while to actually get online. Dude, these Mental of Shandings are always crappy. Like from Boots though, I will need those. Trying to go to BlizzCon this year? Yeah, likely. I mean, I expect that we will probably get, like, you know, gameplay of the expansion and stuff. I guess yeah, BlizzCon will be like right before the expansion release, at the end of Season 5 or something. So there's not much going on there, and it's probably like before the PoE 2 beta as well, so it's gonna be like a good downtime as well to go there anyway. The access release trailer for no rest. Mm -hmm. Let me check it out. How long is it? One minute, okay. 
Official Steam Early Access Launch. Wait, when is the Early Access? I mean, it's the 15th now. I thought the release is in three days. Is Epic a good game for people to play to get into streaming? Uh, yes and no. I mean, there are like streamers that played Last Epoch for years and they have never really grown all too much. But you know, we have like recruited some of them now, like you know, Lizard and Fluffin and Tarek and these guys. Yeah, I mean, they have like, a bit of a following now, but they built it out over years basically. And you don't really have much competition from like big streamers on Last Epoch, which is an advantage, I guess. But yeah, like the potential growth is also like relatively small there, I guess in total size. But to get started, Mass Effect might be a way. Like a lot of the big streamers are just busy on PoE or Diablo. And you know, only do Last Epoch for like League season starts or something, I guess. So there's like a lot of discoverability, I guess, in last epoch. Yeah, the Easter ones had more viewers a couple of years ago. Really? What happened a couple of years ago? Maybe on multiplayer launch or so? Like, I didn't play it on multiplayer launch, for example, but there was like a huge spike in player base. So I guess maybe this is why. D4 would be better, most of the other streamers quit. Yeah, D4 has like, a relatively established streamer base, I'd say, currently. But on the other hand, I mean... A lot of people got pretty far with just clickbaiting their way through. So there's that. At least on YouTube. Like in, in Diablo, you can get away with clickbait a lot easier than in other games, I feel. Because it has like a very casual audience that don't actually understand what they are being fed sometimes. So that's kind of an advantage to grow. Although I would not really recommend to clickbait. Because <laughs> that is... Not really like a long-term solution. Unless you are very careful with that. They had more viewers when Vision was doing tournaments. Okay, I don't know about, you know, like how the viewer base really developed in last epoch. But yeah, maybe like, you know, like three, four years ago, then the game was still kind of like more fresh and for like the, the core player base. Maybe there was some more stuff going on on Twitch, I don't know. I mean, tournaments are always fun and stuff. Probably go to play some tournaments or something like that. 
Maybe I'm gonna do like some random, like, you know, one more new character in last epoch. Ahead of Cycle 2. To kind of like stay a bit in shape for the race in, in Cycle 2 as well. Sounds cool, these tournaments of restriction of skills and stuff. come D3 has more viewers than D4 on Twitch? Uh, because I'm still streaming, I guess. How's it looking? Yeah. Pretty much, that's why. <laughs> Hello, guys. Here's a link for the builds. Okay, I wanted to watch that trailer actually. Where's that? No rest of the wicket. One and a half minutes. So, it's true. The king is dead. We find ourselves in a place we never sought. The threat of anarchy swells beneath us. We're done begging for scraps. We take what we need. A plague that spent a thousand years confined to stories is now clawing at our gate. Everything it touches is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. God's chosen descent. So interesting, Oster. Oh, is back. History will remember how we answer. No matter the cost. So eight, April 18th is the early access. Okay. So I thought that this is the release. How long is the early access? Console release. Wait, this game is not coming to console. As a Souls like. It's kind of strange. This year, okay.
Max was giving away discount cones for it last week. Fuck. Should have grabbed one. This game rules. How, how far did it get actually? Like in the, uh, I know it was like a month ago or so when some people were allowed to play it. I didn't watch anyone, and I wasn't invited. But uh, it's it's like the game seems kind of interesting. But how far did it actually play? I wonder if it like, kind of like holds up, you know, like for, throughout the entire game, and it's gonna remain cool. If I have fun, I'm definitely gonna keep playing it for like the week after it releases, I guess. And we'll see. I'll make some videos for it too, because why not? Just one boss fight. Okay, so I basically saw nothing from the game. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna find some videos and uh, watch them. Like uh, some overview videos of how the game works and all that while we're playing. Since I have to grind a bit more visions and stuff anyway. Oh shit, I should have gone up there. Yeah. Rack Spicy got wrecked for 90 minutes. Yeah, that sounds like. It should be. In a souls like. the game we're talking about no rest for the wicked it's coming on Friday okay it's my last wish for the night by the way Boots and rings is bugged, Shinri.
I'm not playing to play Demon Hunter, no. Probably not going to do any more characters after the Monk. Alright, that's the last one. I'll be sure to see guys. A bit shorter today, but tomorrow we're gonna blast. We're gonna finish that monk. We're almost done. I have to do a lot of petrified screams and stuff though, and then augment everything. It's gonna be a while. So, probably a bunch of vision grind tomorrow. Do the screams. Redo all my stuff. Hopefully, we're gonna get our gear. Although it's looking kind of fine. We have also 3,000 souls again to reforge. And the more we're gonna check out more of this uh, Norris sort of Wicked and see if we find some cool videos and stuff. Ah, oh, look, we actually have 21 penetration screens. We actually did one earlier, too. So that's looking fine. I think we're done there. Sweet, someone. Can do a um, Baskinator. How about that? I think he raided raid, 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 raid Riker the other day. I'm not sure. He raided us. Let's raid Riker. So that. Alright, see you tomorrow, guys.